All right, ladies and gents, welcome to the first semifinal of Titans League Season 3. Should be an awesome series. Eventually, when MBL gets back from getting his noodles, he will be joining me for the cast here. Uh, and we have Yo, who is 17-1 at this point. He was 14-1 and in his group, won the group, had the bye, of course, to the quarterfinals. And uh, then in the quarterfinals, 1-3-0. The dude is just insane. Yo is playing as the Burgundians here in the red. One of the greatest players of all time in our game. And it always seems like he is consistently in that top four spot. Uh, and then here in the blue, we have Hera. Hera also won his group. Hera had probably the most, most competitive group, we could say. And there were definitely some surprises for him. And a player his caliber early on in that group, in Group C. But as expected, figured things out. And has looked insanely sharp. Beat Leary 3-0 in his quarterfinal. And uh, here he is. And he comes in here as the favorite for this uh, semifinal, I think. Because in recent matchups, he has always had that edge against Yo. So uh, we have Yo playing as the Burgundians. This game one is hideout. So it's a closed map here. And uh, I think Burgundians are fantastic. And then we have Vietnamese then. Or Hera, I also think is fantastic. And I actually had a discussion with Hera and Vietnamese like four weeks ago on Hideout when everyone was going Malay very frequently. Interesting choice. I mean, we've seen Vietnamese on open maps. We've seen them here on closed maps. And, uh, you know, I, I wonder if they'll be able to compete with the Burgundians, though. I feel like maybe Cav Archers from the Vietnamese, which we saw from Viper in his quarterfinal, that could be something that we see here from Hera against the Burgundians. But, you know, super comfortable with the Civ like Burgundians. Eco upgrades in age earlier and with a discount. Yo is going to be living the dream right now. Um, other thing to mention here is that the second semifinal will be coming up after this, of course. Uh, that will be between the Viper and then Tato. Uh, should be exciting stuff. I don't think that spoiler is an issue because people who are watching the first semifinal at this point will already have seen the other quarters. Why did Yo drop a Palisade there? I have no clue. Um... So, yeah, obviously, winner of this series moves on to the final, and then I will have the crazy matchups. Either way, right? E either way you slice it, the matchups are going to be fantastic. I'm very excited for it. And always a little awkward for me when I don't know if my co-caster is going to hop in here, but I told MBL to hop in here with insightful information when he does. So I'm, I'm just waiting for the knowledge to be dropped here. As, uh, you know, there's not too much else to talk about. Good series, uh, or, or good map potentially to start off the series because it's very slow and gives players time to, like, warm up a little bit. If there's any nerves, they can shake it off, which I think could be helpful. I, I don't know how helpful that would be for these two compared to maybe someone like myself. But definitely feels like a map that Yo's gonna need to win to win this series here today, because I think with the more open maps, even though both players are insanely good on their open maps, and Kara always has that slight edge. He's got the, he's got the youth. He's got the speed, right? And Yo is a little bit more strategic minded at times. So obviously it means he's still, he's a pretty quick player. He just doesn't quite have the same level of speed. Someone said earlier that Yo needs Yo conversions today too. I'm curious to see how many monks we see. Neither player is really known for a for being like a full lawn monk player. Yo uh, is known by others as getting yo conversions, so known for his fast conversions if he does make monks. But obviously, that is just I think I I think that's just it, it's just a thing that people talk about at this point. Clearly, he doesn't have like a thumb drive in his PC that is making his monks convert faster. So. <laughs> Yeah, so what I'm expecting is a stable opening from Yo. Um, I think like it's a safe play with the Burgundians. You go into Lycav, and you just boom. I think Hera could do a very similar thing here. But with Hera clicking up a 25 pop here, I'm not sure we're going to see the stable. And Yo, honestly, going up a 25 pop as well, I'm not sure we'll see the stable. They could both still do it. I'm not fully up to date on my hideout builds. But from what I recall, 26 pop, and I know it's just one more vill, so maybe they're, they're a little bit more fine-tuned. The 26 pop is probably what I would do, at least with the Burgundians. But Hera's floating some wood now. I could see the barracks coming up here in a bit. I could see him still competing for Lightcalf. And if they are going Lightcalf, the relic positions are very fair. You've got this relic, which is kind of contestable for both. 
and then you've got the two relics in the south and the two relics in the north. So very small choke point on the right hand side as well here. So that could be an area that is walled up. This could be a long game. And if it's a long game, I think both civilizations are insane. I I feel like I prefer everything about the Burgundians up until maybe Vietnamese have heavy cav archer. If Hera gets the big ball of heavy cav archer, that's where I think Yo could struggle here. Hera's going to drop his barracks. Little fun fact, by the way, for people who ever do these builds, if you actually learned this from MBL back in the day, um, who and maybe MBL will come in here in a second, but if you place your barracks and start building your barracks when you are 60% of the way to Feudal Age, with one villager, your barracks will complete the second you're in Feudal Age. There, Hera did too, because he started a bit later, but that's like a number you can look to. I do it all the time. It's just I look and see what percentage I'm at. If I'm at like 63% when I start building it, I send the other vill right before feudal. So, market blacksmith. It feels like Yo is playing a little bit away from his bonuses here. It's cheaper stable upgrades. But he is going to be in Castle Age at a really reasonable time. Hera's gone for the stable build. And clean stuff from Hera. Eco upgrades will be coming in for him now. That Yo's had for a long time. And Yo's already winning the race to the Castle Age Eco upgrades. But yeah, so known MBL for a while. I think this is the first time I'm ca be casting with MBL in uh, quite a few years, actually. Remember, we played in a team game tournament together a year and a half ago, but uh, it was like Hidden Cup 3 co cast or something for a qualifier. The famous up to imp moment. It was good times. Would I prefer Cav Archers to Ratsons? I would, because Ratson Archers, they have less HP, and while they have, like, more Pierce armor, I think it evens out in terms of more shots you can take. Cav Archers are more mobile as well. I really think, guys, like, Ratson Archers are a great unit, but if it's not a Regicide start, you really should just be going Cav Archers with Vietnamese. They're that good. Their Archers get more HP, and they're more mobile. It... I, it is a situational thing. Like, let's say you're up against Berbers, where Berbers are going to be going for Camel Archers. There, it's like clearly Rats and Archers instead. But think about Hera. Do you ever look at Hera as a player and say unique unit? No, you look at Yo and think unique unit. Hera doesn't really... He's not a player who thrives on unique units. He goes for a unit out of a stable, a unit out of the Archer range, a unit out of the barracks, typically. So I think the CA play would work well. You cast a TTL group stage from Season 1 with MBL? Nice. Okay. Well, apparently, it wasn't a very memorable cast then. <laughs> Good question. Someone says, is the button allowed in TTL? Because uh, tournaments had banned the Flemish Revolution. Uh, no, we did not ban it. Uh, it is not something we even had to think of because the balance change they made for it doesn't make it competitively viable like i think if you were to research it you're either already clearly going to win the game or you're already clearly dead it is simply too expensive i think because they changed it based on the price of the amount of villagers you have but yeah a bonus that yo could use is the burgundian revolution it's not something i felt we had to ban at all i just don't think it, it will ever be seen in tournaments within its current state but i might be proven wrong here maybe yo doesn't agree uh hero with the scout coverage around the map Probably feeling pretty comfortable there. Clean eco. Wood TC. Stone TC. Yo will have his TCs up faster. And I cannot express to you enough how surprised I am that Yo has decided to just go out and try and get relics without a staple of his own here. But his eco is going to be flying here. Res collected is not that much greater for him, but it is still greater. And, like, all of his farms either had Horse Collar or now Heavy Plow. Wheelbarrow's coming in really early, and I'm sure he could consider either TC number four or with his stone build up an early castle. But Harris just going to patrol his scouts on the relics here. And I'm not sure Yo has even seen any additional scouts from Hera, so I'm not sure he has a feel for the fact that Hera has scouts out there. It feels like you should expect it. Um, I mean, it's I brought it up in Dark Age, right? Yo is a fantastic player. He should know that potential, but he doesn't know that potential. And unless he gets a conversion here, 
which would mean he'd have to realize this. This is going to be a monk down. Oh, there you go. Hera notices the... I, I don't know if Hera noticed or if the patrol noticed. I think that was Hera actually paying close attention. And Yo brings his scout over here. And Yo knows, okay, Hera must have scouts because that is the second scout. Now, kind of hard for someone in Yo's position to really know um, that your opponent's going scouts because Hera built the stable inside the walls. But I listen. I've been I've been very uh, very specific in my commentary this season, and I've I've talked about every tiny little bit of potential, right? Because every detail matters. And at times, there's been comments saying, "T90, you've been too critical." When I've clearly pointed out a player hadn't never loaded up the map and practiced. <laughs> um, and and you know, so along those lines. I, I, I'm glad Yo's reacted now. He's going to add some Spearman. But I do feel like it falls into the category of something you just expect. Also something that Burgundians are arguably better at competing with. With the cheaper stable upgrades. Spears will come out. Hera was late with this monastery though. He went for the TCs first. Interesting decision. So he hasn't actually picked up these relics behind that control. Man. MBL, are you there? MBL's he's eating. It, it's okay. We're we're good. We're good to go, guys. Uh <laughs> Hera kills the monk here. And Hera, I uh, was unable to kill a monk over on this side. He just lost the scout. But so far, Hera's killed two monks with his scout build. And I'm wondering when Hera adds the ranges. I think it is as good as confirmed that we will see Vietnamese cab archers here. I'd be shocked if we don't see it. I did ask MBL not to slurp noodles into the mic, so his silence probably tells me he's still eating. Never mind the fact that I did say that we were starting at the start time yesterday. Ne never mind that fact. I, it's not like this was a surprise. But, uh, you know, his scheduling for Gold League this year was really, really good. So we'll, we'll give him that. All right, hello, man. Hey, what's up, MBL? How's it going? Did you miss me? I so missed you. It's hideout, dude. I've run out of things to talk about by now. Yeah, the, the, I'm so happy I actually missed the first minutes of hideout. Uh, how's it looking? <laughs> it enlightened me. Well, the the thing that was a surprise to me is that Yo didn't go for a stable build with Burgundians. Yeah. However, Hera, while he killed a couple monks, Hera never really picked up the forward relics. He never really made a move out there, and so at the moment, it looks like Yo's boom into Relic play could actually be decent because he's adding his own scouts, and he might end up getting three Relics. We'll see. Oh, and with Burgundians, that's so huge because you get food when you have Relics, right? So it's so nice. Yep. And obviously having the Relic lead on a map that's going to go late can make it Which team do you really prefer in late game, though? Well, I was saying I think Hera's going to go Heavy Cav Archer, and I think Heavy Cav Archer with Vietnamese is insane. Um, but then, Maybe like... Cav Archer dies to, to, to a unique unit from, from Yodo. You think? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I do think, yeah. What about, like, Halb Heavy Cav Archer, though? Yeah, that's good, but, um, Skirm could be annoying then. Yeah, yeah. I think it's very close. Uh, which Civ would you prefer? I think I would prefer Burgundians for Feudal Age and Castle Age. Imperial Age, if it goes late, I think I'd prefer Vietnamese. Um, yeah, uh, but like the thing is like, how are you going to kill early? You can't really do that. Both are booming right now. 100%, yep. And yeah, it will go late. But let's see, like maybe you're always comfortable with going late and maybe Hero's going comfortable with going late. So it could be a very even matchup, I believe. Yep. Yo with like have now sees Hera's monk. Could go to kill the other monk with the like have first. And this could be Hera losing both his monks. Hera loses both his monks. Very well played from Yo. Oh, I'm not there yet. And uh, the, also, the relic in the north is something that Yo does not actually see right now. He scouted a lot of the map, but he doesn't actually have vision on that. So he might assume that Hera has more relics than he does. And now Hera is going to loop around and kill monks. So it's a bad day to be a monk here. I think that relic is going to be found in very, very late game. When yeah. people start farming outside. Yeah. What's funny is Hera knows it's there, though. So, like, that is a oh. long journey for Hera to take. 
but I could see. I don't Hera... think he's ever gonna get there. Yeah, yeah, I could see him trying if, as once this relic they're fighting over right now gets collected. Yeah. But yeah, Hera gonna drop a castle at home. Um, Hera. Both super... of these guys are such good boomers, right? Yeah. So it's really hard to tell who has a lead right now. Yeah, and both civs are also fantastic. Uh, Yo has collected more resources. I think that's to be expected, though. Um, Hera going for light cap is now as well, and just investing as much as possible to contest this relic. But Yo has uh, forging in, so Yo is in a better spot as far as upgrades are concerned. So we see Hera starting to get ballistics, and Yo is starting to get more cab armor. So this is Yo clearly showing us that he's happy with making more stable units. Yeah. Oh, look at the stone wall from here on the left. Ho ho ho! That is crazy. He wants the whole map, man. Yeah. I would probably have stonewalled around where his villagers are right now. <laughs> yeah, me too. I would <laughs> never have stonewalled there, but I guess he wants to secure that stone. Uh, yeah. And some ex extra wood, but I mean, <laughs> wood, wood's all <laughs> over the place there, so... Extra wood. really the wood. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, what might be kind of nice... And Hera needs to make sure he doesn't take the light cap from Yo there to his walls right now. Hera, you gotta move somewhere else with that light cap, dude. Hera. Hey, uh -oh, there he goes. Yeah. He's moving now. He's moving. I like mm -hmm. that. Um, yeah. But yeah, like, anyways, I, I feel like uh, the nice thing about this wall that goes down is you also have a lot more time to react and add another layer behind. Yeah. If you get a Hera. Hera instantly goes for three barracks. I think this is help play in the beginning. Okay. To push off the unique unit, and then he's gonna go for maybe rattans. Yeah, it looks like he's massing some rattans as well. Hera goes for tons of gates here on this wall. Look at that, five gates. And I'm surprised. Yeah. I, I I I said that it was gonna be cab archers. Hera goes for rattans, and his rattans get melted here. He was not ready for Yo to attack yeah. him there. Yeah, Yo has a pretty good army at the moment. But uh, remember, Vietnamese when they get to Imperial, they get conscription. It's true. Right away. Conscription makes your military buildings work faster. So Hera will be able to pump out uh, units quite fast uh, in order to stop Yo's units. And he's going for a ca castle now. I think he's pretty well protected with a monk there. A few rattans, a few halps. So Yo can't really engage. Mm -hmm. Yo pulls back his army and waits for a little bit more. Yeah, he actually just keeps booming, honestly. Yeah. They're not fully boomed yet. Like They're going to get to like 80 farms, right? So... They're just going to keep booming a little bit and keep holding. Even though they're imp, the boom needs to continue. Yeah, yeah. And Yo with crazy upgrades right now. Like crop rotation, stone shaft mining, gold shaft mining. He's literally going for every eco upgrade he could consider here. But he he, he sees help now. And the Halbrats and combo is going to be really strong eventually. But I mean, Hera's still missing a lot of upgrades here. And maybe Yo knows that, which is why Yo is fighting it. Yeah, but... Was it really good? I don't know. I don't, okay, I don't let me think so, no. get a I have to answer a phone call, sorry. Okay, yep, no worries. Three castles now for Yo. Yo did petard through on the left hand side though, and Hera reacts to this because Hera is actually mining the stone. We'll see how long those villagers actually survive. Now Yo is able to send units through the opening, and Hera doesn't really have the possibility of walling that. So Hera really alerted Yo to the fact that that wall was there. And Yo is now through, but Hera's still mounting a big push. And I'm a little concerned for Yo's army count. When you're going full unique unit, and you have to produce out of castles, it takes a lot of time to get the units out and to get the upgrades. So Yo's going to need something more. Right now, I'm thinking he's going to rely on Bombard Cannon because he has a Siege Workshop going up and Chemistry soon completing. But he's not... He's not heavy on wood, I'm noticing. Yo's got quite a few idols in his base, but very focused on the raids on the other side. Hera's base, nice job from Hera to notice this. As he drops a very defensive castle down here. Now, this castle could be denied. Hera's, the, both players have a lot to look at right now, and yeah, those villagers are going to go down. Sick play from Yo. Beautiful finds. And uh, Hera's going to be a little disappointed with how this whole left-hand side has gone. Yo's just going to take the hill. Yo will kill the Vils, and Yo's in a good spot. Yeah, hand cannons would also be really helpful with the Burgundians. We see hand cannons out of the range for Yo. And Hera, uh, still no elite rat and archer, but has plenty of halbs right now. So halb, the key for him. Bracer now on the rat tens. 
He'll have about 40 halves. He'll have about 20 or so Rathans, and then he's got the Treb and the Cannon. Important timing here in this game. Feels like if Yo can hold this area, his army could arguably be stronger soon because it is a double gold army. Hera's able to amass more army because he doesn't have to spend as much gold. And Yo's going to take a fight. These units get insane attack with the first hit. And Yo, happy to take it. It does feel like, you know, Hera's killed quite a few units here. But Yo's still able to steamroll right through. And this is what MBO was talking about. This unique unit, man, and in the hands of Yo, it is so strong. And Hera tries to quick wall to save his Bombard Cannon. He won't get that. Bombard Cannon will go down. And now Hera's Trebs are exposed against Yo's Bombard Cannon. So really close stuff here. Both Trebs go down for Hera. Hera has no way of pushing Yo's castle anymore. A perfect save there from Yo because his castle was almost down, actually. We still have the left side to talk about, obviously, but both players have a defensive castle up at the moment. Yo still does not know that Relic is in the north. Yeah, I think, guys, if you're hearing anything, I think you're hearing MBL on his on his phone call at the moment. <laughs> He's like, Mom, don't you know this T90 guy is Sorry. casting with him? <laughs> How's your mom Sorry. doing? She good? No, it was my brother and my nephew. My nephew wanted uh, to, to speak to me on the video call. Oh, okay. That's sweet. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. No, okay, no so, wow, Yo with a 1,000 score lead. What's happening here, T90? Well, I mean, Yo just lost his Bomber Cannon, but before that, uh -huh. he had taken out quite a few of Harris Trebs. He took a really big fight, but I'm concerned he just doesn't have the unit mass right now. Hera's got a massive army. But the hang can there, that's nice. Yeah, true. Two castles shooting down the halves. Yo is just debating. And when the halves are done, Yo can engage, right? Yeah. Yo is just saving his gold units. Hera, though, tries to snipe... Uh, is he sniping the traps with the bomber cap? Yeah, yeah he's he got one of them. Nice yep. snipe there. And Yo getting some upgrades he would have benefited from a bit earlier. Ballistics and Bod Canero would have been really nice for his castles. Yeah, and, and the nice thing about uh, Vietnamese here is that they have access to Siege Engineers, which make their trebuchets and bomber can one range uh, longer. Yeah. And Burgundians don't have that, which makes it really hard for Burgundians to actually reach the Siege from Hera. And also, his Siege does more damage, so this is gonna hurt Hera, I mean Yo, in the long run, if uh, Hera can just sit there in this position. Yo doesn't have a lot of gold, like both of his golds are right here and Hera recognized that and Hera's just pushing and he's pushing with an army which isn't as expensive and isn't reliant on castles to the same degree. Yo's converted a lot of bomber cannons here. Yo needs just maybe a few more skirms. Real quick, MBL, are you, have you moved further away from your mic? Uh, I'm eating a little bit of food, I will be 100% uh, <laughs> Okay, next okay, year. okay, no worries. <laughs> No worries, I just want to make sure, because I don't want to like boost you and then have you come back in at a thousand yeah, 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 percent yeah, don't later. Do that. Yeah. No worries, do your thing. Bracer's on the way, Hustler's on the way for Yo. He's building a castle on that left side, which he was able to open up. He is going to start raiding Hera's eco there. Crazy to think about raiding there while he's getting pushed. He still needs an answer, though, to this area, because this is where the majority of his gold is. And I'm worried that like Hera's just not going to break here. Like Hera's got an amazing position here with his castle. Yeah, if Hera manages to break the top side, Yo is in big trouble, but Yo is like buying every stone he can to, to hold this, but Yo, Hera has four traps now, that castle will go down. Yeah. Yo is trying to go push on the right side, but Hera already prepared a defense there with the castle, a few halves, a trebuchet, so Hera is okay on that side too. It's kind Yo, of funny, because Hera also is running out of stone, and Vietnamese castles are very weak, so both players may end true. up losing their castles here. Why are Vietnamese castles weak, did I say? Explain. Because they lack every valuable upgrade to give HP or castles. Yeah, so they have no HP upgrades in their university and stuff like that. So Vietnamese castles will actually be easy to break down. Yep. But Hera is now engaging. Let's see T90. Oh, and Hera's going to save his castle potentially. He's using his ball bar cannons against the Trebs. He does lose his castle. He also loses his cannon though, which could lead to some Trebs going down here from Yo. Crazy fight here, MBL, and both players lost like 40, 50 population. Oh my god, what a crazy engagement. Now he goes trying to go for a trap. And he's gonna kill two. <laughs> he kills three traps. And now pushes back Hera, but he has no castle, so if he gets pushed back again, it's gonna be so easy for Hera to push it back. And if Hera needs just a minute or two to replenish that army he lost. Yeah, well, I mean, Skirm's so important now for Yo. And the Treb War on the other side now, important for both. And Hera noticed that really early on. Great recognition there from Hera. 
Yo does have a lot of stables over there, though. So Hera needs to get Halb numbers to protect those traps. Otherwise, he could lose them. All the while, we have the main push that needs to be focused on on the right. But, like, from what I'm seeing right now, Hera has the better defensive setup on both sides. He's got the castles, yep. and he's got the production in both areas. So it's I feel like Yo is going to struggle here. Yeah, Yo lost his castle on the south. He lost his position uh, now on the top side. And he's 150 pop now, and he doesn't even have houses to go to 200 population anymore. Yeah. He snipes off the siege, though, so Hera can't really push. He needs to just stand there and kill villagers, which is okay. Yo has a lot of resources. He has the uh, relics, he has uh, everything. So Yo just needs a little bit of time to mess up. I think he's gonna go like full skirmisher here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just concerned. I'm like looking at Yo's ranges. They're not in, there's nothing in queue. Yeah, it, this is classic Yo though. He, he just, you know, banks up a ton of resources, sits on 150 pop and stuff like that, and then boom, queues up everything and gets an army out right away. Like, he always does this. Interesting, yeah. I mean, it yeah. definitely feels like he's probably focused on the other side, probably realizes he has to use his mobility to beat Hera's composition right now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Hera doesn't have a big army as well, to, to be honest with you. Like, both players kind of struggling for some pop. Yo is behind in Vils, but his, his wood and his food count, which is basically all he needs right now, is really good. I agree, 100%. Era getting paper money now, so his wood choppers will bring in some gold. That's a great late game technology. Also getting uh, elite skirmisher. He's probably not too far off from getting imperial skirmisher, which is even stronger. And that's only but, available uh, for the Vietnamese. The Burgundians wow. can't do the same. I'm thinking about these late game saves. <laughs> Yo getting w uh, gold from farms yep. and Hera getting gold from wood. Yeah, which is ridiculous. <laughs> it's like I was thinking, like, ah, Yo is gonna win this because you know he gets gold from farms. But then I completely forgot about paper money. Yeah, which is a technology that was changed a few months ago, which now gives uh, a little trickle of gold uh, when you mine uh, or chop wood. Did Hera just get that technology, by the way? Hera just got paper money. Yes. Why did he do that earlier, man? Look at all the wood he's chopped. He could have yeah. gotten so much more gold. That's fair. Look and, at the gold income he has now. It's really good. It definitely feels like Yo, like... Hera's clearly building up his trebs and waiting to go again. It definitely feels like Yo is stabilized here, MBL, like you said. And yeah. Hera, I think, is really paranoid and distracted about this other side. Look at the buildup that Yo has on that side. He's got so many buildings there. That, that takes a lot of wood to do that. So sick job from him to hold with the skirms. Still be able to mine gold even though he has no castle to protect and the right side. Now, Hera's got to go for a death ball push there. Hera's building up yeah. something fierce there to push. He's building it up, man. He's going to go for push. And the thing is that Yo is investing a lot into the south area. So this is going to be a base trade almost. And honestly, it's so even because Yo also co uh, covering it with siege in the, in the south. Yep. Uh, if Yo can hold the top... I think Yo can push Hera faster than Hera can push him. Yeah. But at the moment, I don't see how Yo stops this army coming in at him now. Three trebuchets gonna trap down the, those arch ranges, stopping the production from Yo. Yo is replenishing buildings in the uh, top side because he knows things will go down here. But Crazy. Imperial skirms against normal skirmisher. Who, uh, I don't even no, they don't even have full armor for it, no. right? No, they don't get the final armor. So Imperial skirmisher alone can push this area for Hera. Not to mention the Rat 10 Archers, not to mention the Halbs. And Yo's struggling. He's going to lose a Bomber Cannon. He won't get a Trebuchet kill for it, so that really hurts. But he does yeah. take the castle down in the south. This could be crazy. This is kind of crazy. Uh, Hera has a lot of population in the north, so he can't really play. One Militia queued up for Hera. Okay. <laughs> That's... I love how... He's messing up his uh, production buildings here now. I love how you've become... That's such a caster comment. <laughs> to, to see the <laughs> militia and mention it. I love how... I love how you've immediately embraced the caster mode. It's, uh, it's queued up in the top side uh, next to those trebuchets, you know, the barracks in front of the castle. Yep. I just want to see that militia come out and, and create havoc in Yo's economy. But look at this push Harris doing. He's even making forward buildings on... Uh, on Yo now, and Yo is getting pushed back in the south as well. Yo is losing control of this game really fast now. Yo is trying to mass some um, unique units in the back. You see that? The castle in the back, massing up Custelier. Yep. So he's gonna mass up units there. He's gonna mass up Skirms in the top, and he's gonna make a huge push to push back uh, Hera. And 
this is so patient from Yodo, right? He's, he's losing his town centers, losing a lot of farm space, losing a lot, but he's still so patient messing up army. And now Yo is starting to engage, stopping Hera from uh, building buildings in front of his base. Hussar coming in, Skirm's coming in, but what is Yo what Yo is doing very nicely here is just keeping that nice Costellier army in the back waiting for more. Yeah, which yeah. It's really cool. I agree. A lot of players panic right there. Like I, I'm yeah. thinking, oh my god. He's dead, right? But he would have been more dead if he just engaged against it when he wasn't ready. So, yeah, the patience was beautiful. Still does have the annoying little raids adding up against Hera on the other side. Hera's done a good job to still respect that with enough. But, you know, again, another nice like, kind of hold for Yo. I just, I'm worried about Unicomp. I think that Halb and Imperial Skirm, just those units alone, combined with the paper money technology with chopping all the wood, it's just so good here. It's so hard for the but, Burgundians uh, to but, stop full trash. But Hussars, man. Hussars are actually huge in Imp 2, though. Yeah, true. I think I would prefer uh, Hussar Skirm over Hub uh, Skirm. Okay. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, being able look, to raid, right? Like, Dante, look. The, 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 the Custodier are coming in. And I think they're going to clean up everything now. Let's see. Most of the Halbs are gone for Hera. Here they go. Yep. Let's see. Now you want to go for the siege. Take all the traps. Yeah, you yeah, want to yeah. go for the siege. Yeah, good play there from Yo. And Very he's nice. gonna get the traps because the bomber cannon's already moving away. Gets one trap, gets two. It's gonna get all three traps. What a find from Yo. What a great like, what a great calculation there as well. Just saving them up, killing the halves, and then running in to snipe them. That's three gold units lost for Hera in a very important position. But now Hera has bomber cannon. Oh! Uh, Imperial skirmisher and halves. The only problem for him, though, is that he's losing control fast over the south area. Yeah, he's trying to expand true. to the right. Look at Hera. Losing a lot of ground on the left, he expands everything to the right. But yeah. Hera is very limited on the space. He doesn't have that much space to expand on the right side. There's military buildings there, there's a corner, and the left side is huge. Let's say Yo gets pushed on the right side now. He has so much area to expand. Yeah, true. Cool. Yeah, he, he can fall back. And yeah, he's, he's yeah. happily happy to trade with his skirms for now against the imp skirms just to hold that position because the most important area to push now for Yo is the south side. And like, this could be awkward for Hera, man. I mean, it already is awkward for Hera because his castles, we, we established it earlier, they're very weak unless Yo walks into them with bomber cannons and loses two bomber cannons to the castle. Oh no. Oh, that could That's totally so delay the push here. Yeah, he queues up two more, but now he's gonna get pushed back by the Halbs, he's gonna get pushed back by the Skirm. I think he was too focused in the north, and Hera's losing maybe a bomber can to the Hussar. No, he managed to save it. There's so much going on now, T90. Yeah. And honestly, it's so well played from Yo to be on the south area. Yes. Because yeah. you know that's you know the Stonewall on the top from Hera? If I saw the Stonewall on a hideout, I was thinking like Nah, let's just focus on the right side and the middle. I'm not even gonna bother yep. going to the left side. Yep. But Yo. He didn't care. He just went through the stone wall and started pushing, which yeah. is really good. I agree. Really good. It, it's opened up this whole opportunity for him, right? Like, this whole thing has happened because he noticed it and reacted right away. Hera's killed a couple of villagers with halves on Yo's woodline. Yo doesn't seem to notice that right now. And Hera isn't pushing in the, in the, on the right side because oh, he wants to clean up this raid in the south now. But look at Yo, though. So, so good in Imp. Like, uh... He's one of the most dangerous players to face an imp. You just feel like he never dies. Yeah. And and he's so good at banking resources. And <laughs> he never gives up, you know. He's such a fighter. So he will he will keep playing this for six other hours if he wants to. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the only problem for Hera... Yeah, I was going to say, Hera doesn't have like yet, but now he does. Uh, they're not really upgraded, though. And Yo has fully upgraded Hussars, except for Bloodlines. Which cause a huge problem for Hera. And look at the north side. Hera has five skirmishers to defend. Yo is pushing in on the north. And if Hera loses that castle, it's free walking path into Hera's golden farm eco. Yeah. And Hera didn't get any bomber cannons with his light cab on the other side. He might end up getting them because he's, he's the ones weak, I'm sure. And But like yeah. kind of awkward for Hera to have to look at this now and not be able to defend his castle, but he has oh, a bomber cannon can. behind the castle, and Yo doesn't oh, see it, and Hera holds no. again. Oh my god, this is gonna gonna be so hard for them to push, both players. Like, Hera needs to push back to south, he has to push back to north, he has to take care of the middle, which is getting trapped. Yep. Yo could actually trap that castle from the middle if he wanted to, by the way. That's true. Yeah, he doesn't see it. 
Well, he does see it. No, he doesn't see it. And actually, but Harris sees the trap. Maybe that trap has be been there for a bit. Oh yeah, the trap is in trouble. Trap will survive. Trap will survive. It's good. Yep. Yep. Wow, crazy game. Start off the series. Yeah. But we said like not and a bad, also... not a bad, bad time to play hideout when you're full yeah. of energy. But it, but it is, <laughs> it is a bit exhausting too. Like it could be a draining thing to play so long in Imperial and suddenly go from such a big imp game to Dark Age the next yeah. game. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's true. It's a huge transition, and they have to like reset their minds after this. Yeah, and and it, I think it makes victory in this so much more important, and and losing this mm. feels so much more defeating the longer the game yeah. goes, right? So like this game here. Obviously, just one of seven, but this is hugely important for both players. And I think more so for Yo, because I, I think that on the more open maps, Hera's going to be able to make the most of things today. So I, I think that it, it feels crazy to say in game number one, but Yo needs this win to win this yeah. semifinal today. Yeah, I think so too. And I feel like he's on a, on a good path to winning. Honestly, he's he's not getting pushed back. Hera can't push him. Yeah. And if Hera, if Hera hasn't won yet, he will never win, in my opinion. If he can't win, if he can't push back Yo with the army he had before, he can't win. Yeah, that much faith in Yo, Yo and can do that much yeah. faith in the Burgundians here as Yo is starting to farm in the north. He still hasn't seen that relic. That relic would have brought him thousands, like a thousand gold extra had he seen it. Oh my god. Ooh, what the hell? You, you think like... You think you should probably outpost, right? Oh man, Hera kills kills yeah. a Treb. There's still one more. Hera desperately trying oh, to no. hold on to his castle. Hera's gonna shoot down that Treb. That castle's gonna stand for Hera. He's not finished yet. Yeah, he's still holding. I think Yo should have positioned his Trebs on the small little hill. Then Hera's castle would be in much more trouble. And the Trebs would maybe take another shot. Yep. But uh, he didn't. Look at the Hussar raid coming in from the south though. Oh my god. He, if if oh Yo were to run god. to the right, if he runs into that corner, that is all of Hera's farming ego. Yeah, there that's is, so annoying for There Hera is no castle there. That would, that could end the game. Like, actually, Ooh. it needs to happen now because Hera's starting to push. Yo's Hussars need to find exactly. that corner. Exactly. Big push coming in on the north side. Hera wants to focus there. The thing is though, if when Yo loses his raid on the south, he can replenish more army on the top and he has a lot of resources to do so. And now, the Cavalier and the... I mean, the uh, Hussar, a unique unit from Yo, is doing so much damage to Hera's army. Yeah. Hera needs to mass more halts into this or something, but then the Skirms will kill it. It's so difficult. Yeah. Then Hera getting gold from chopping trees. He's got 46 on wood. And Yo still needs to try and break the other side. Remember that moment where Yo lost his two bomber cans to the castle fire? If that happens again here in the south, it'll be brutal for Yo, but he's paid attention. He's clicked them onto the castle. That is an exposed area for Hera if he loses that castle. The Hera has to react. Yo still defending the other side. And it feels like wow. we've been here before. Yeah. But look at the push Yo's doing. I think he will lose the bomber cans now. Again. And the south has been held by Hera, but Hera can never push it back. Ever. Yeah. It's gonna be so annoying. So he has to push the north. That's got to yeah, be his area. He's a huge army in the north. And I think he's going to go for another trap. Yeah, he is. He's adding another trap, but where? Um, oh, my God. From the other castle on the left side, <laughs> he's adding a trap. <laughs> it's going to take five years to get there. <laughs> That's funny. Jesus. Well, I mean, I, I feel like they're going to have the five years, right? This is going to be a pretty long game. True. So Yeah, that is it's going to be a, a really long one. Maybe the wood will end, even. <laughs> I, I'm wondering, like, obviously it's really hard for Yo to think about, but as he's been trying to raid, he's just running under castles. He just doesn't... I don't think he realizes how much eco Hera has in that right corner. That is such a good spot for him to get into. Yeah, it's crazy. It's so unprotected, right? It's just that one castle there. When that goes down, it's just a military buildings in the way, and, and, and Mr. Yo can walk straight in. Yeah, Yo diving for the cannons here. The pathing has helped Hera so much here. Oh my god, Hera's gonna keep... Oh my god. Oh! A Hera loses all of them. He loses all the cannons, which is oh. such crucial timing because that one Treb is there and Trebbing away. Hera getting murder holes at the moment. And, yeah, he's uh, adding another bomber can to try to snipe it and he's moving forward with the skirms. Yo adding more Hussars in. Yep. Yo is at the limit with the Fudo. 13 Hussars in the queue, which is like a thousand Fudo, obviously. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I don't think Yo is worried about resources. There's eight farmers right now. 
uh, 140 mils, which is okay, because now they're not mining gold or stone anymore. Yeah. But when there's gold and, gold and stone on the map, you probably need about 140 mils. Do you, now it's, it's perfect. Do you think Yo's ever heard the phrase, do not trickle trap? Because uh, the amount of times I he's haven't... walked in here with one trebuchet, when he only oh, yeah. has limited amount of time to be able to trap, is a little too high for me. But uh, I don't think Yo listens, listens to anything I say. <laughs> it's tough in the he's moment. Being a bit... Bit, bit wasteful with the traps, yeah. yeah. But he's such a patient player, so that's why it surprises me. You know, it doesn't feel like that has matched the patience he has shown at other points in this game. And Hera with a push in the north as he's getting pushed in the south. But keep in mind, Hera's got the castles, and this is not Hera's farming eco. Yeah, so, this is not Hera's eco, but Yo is trapping the castle on the north side, which is really, really good. Oh, true. Taking away a huge defensive area. Yeah, true. So... The fact that he's taking all the army there is really nice, but he has to really be careful that uh, push doesn't snowball on the top. If Hera now goes for four buildings, Yo is going to have a hard time pushing this back. Yeah. yeah, Hera needs to hold to the hill. Yo maybe even need to consider deleting his gate there because the pathing was awkward. Hera, uh -oh. opportunity to get into Yo's farming eco. This is getting out of hand because Hera has light kept this time. He didn't have that last time he pushed there. And now Yo has to garrison his mills, which makes half of his uh, farming eco idle, which means replenishing those Hussars to the hold is going to be much harder. He's garrisoning skirmishers on top now, releasing them to push back. A lot of Costelier here though, and the Costelier are so good. Yo is using them so well, and they're taking so much damage from Hera's army. Yo is pushing back once again. Oh Yo, my God. but Hera sniped the trap on the other side. I almost wonder if, if Yo had villagers, he could have maybe housewalled that trap in. But yeah, Hera's mean... done such a good job. Dude, he even researched hoardings. He's done such an amazing job. Um, because, like, Hoardings has made a difference now because he's Vietnamese. He's right. keeping these castles up. Like, the castle on the right, 44 kills. The other castles probably amounting to about, like, 50, 60 kills. He has, has not allowed Yo to break him because it feels like if he loses any of his castles, Yo's going to be in his ego. Yeah, and the score lead is getting huge now, which means that Yo is losing way more units than uh, Hera is right now. And that is not a good sign because if you're starting to lose way more units, it means that Hera is taking much better trades and is able to get way more resources uh, out in the bank before yep. he has to replace new army. Yeah, Hera really camping Yo's archer ranges too has made it really hard for Yo to get the skirm number out. He doesn't have mm -hmm. that many ranges behind all this. He is making a trep on the left. He's also expanding to more farms. But the longer this game goes, the more I'm starting to see Hera you know, in his groove here, right? He's got every trash tech he needs now, like Cav, Halb, and Imp Skirm. It's only oh, yeah. two relics for both, because Yo never spotted that relic in the north, and Hera's oh, wow. got the position now. That relic is so annoying, man. If Yo saw that relic, it could have changed the game, actually. Yeah. I mean, oh, that sure. could be how many more bomber cannons and trebs could he have used in each little yeah. push at this point. Way more. And also, like, mentally, he's probably assuming that Hera has the third relic. True. Yeah, so he feels like he's kind of behind, right? Yeah. Hera will know, because Hera sees it, which is kind of funny. And Hera's got to be thinking, like, how is yeah, that's he not a, that's a little that yet? Yeah, that's a little comforting for Hera, though, right? Oh, but the Custodier is sniping the siege now for... Yo, look at that. Uh, for Hera, I mean. Oh, my God. there's And they're so annoying, man. They come in, they tickle the trap, and it dies. <laughs> because they, their, their charge damage is so huge. Yeah. And Yo's, Yo's perfect at it because he picks the right moments, right? And yep. he takes the fight now against Hera's Halbs. We'll lose a ton of Hussars here, though. Not the fight oh. you would have wanted there, Yo. There were skirms on the hill. There was a Treb on the hill as well. I think he's just simply distracted here, trying to micro his other units. He's we'll down to 150 pop against finally take now. This the, is the moment, Treb. Maybe. Yeah, to I me, think this could be the moment for Hera. Yeah. yeah, to me, it feels like we might just be moments away because Hera's production is so good, right? He's got more units mm -hmm. in queue. His light cav are going to dive right into Yo's economy. Yo's so exposed there. He doesn't have any defensive castles of his own. And Yo's not pushing the other side anymore. He does have one treb on its own, but I think we know how that's going to go, right? That's that, that's yeah. going to give Hera plenty of time to realize. And I really like the Vietnamese pick here. It's so good for him with all the wood he can take. So yeah. much gold income from the woods. Crazy. Yeah, it's really good. And Imperial Skirm, right? I think that yeah, those are the two, two and, and Yeah, so good trash units. Yep. So Hera has done a, an amazing job 
to switch positions as well with the light Ooh, cap. He's spread the them out into a million different Yo. areas. I mean, the castle from here and the south is getting trapped down. And now you're coming in with the raid where the castle is, I believe, to kill the wood villagers. Which could be really painful for Hera. Yo still has a lot of farmers. He's still massing a lot of units, uh, T90. We shouldn't call this game early because I don't think it's going to be over fast. Oh, Just... Let's... let's see. Hera does notice now that he's starting to lose villagers. So he'll naturally have to send Halbs this way. Which means he can't push forward with Halbs anymore. He does still have a solid group of help. My worry for Yo is lack of skirms. If he had 40 skirms, I think great. He's got like 10 right now. And Hera now running with those villagers away from the wood line. Kind of funny how far away he needs to leave his main base here. I think Yo needs more ranges on, on, on his main base. Yeah. More archer ranges to create more skirmishers. Agreed. Yeah, he seems content with massing skirms out of the ranges that are next to all of this. It's going to make life very difficult for him. Yo is going to hop Hera on the imp skirm too, though. And it's so hard. Ooh, Ooh man. He's going to jump on the halps too. That's not good. Oh, no. Mr. Yo, he's going for the raid instead. Well, I mean, he's going to go to the corner. Quick yeah, Hera will. Gonna quick well no, Easily. actually, Hera should let him go through, and then yeah, he should wall between him. the ranges. Yeah, he deleted. He deleted. Yeah. There's a hole in the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then that's the easiest trap of Hera's life. Impressive. Yeah. Hussars could still get into that farming eco for him, though. That is true. That's annoying. Yo is just running around. And, and also, he debated all the hubs to go back. Which actually gives him a breeding space on his top. But Hera reigning with all his light cap. Yo... Like we said, can expand on the south side, though, if he gets pushed on the top, and yep. he is. Yep. Hera's going to snipe the treb from Yo, and so that siege push will stop there. Hera's killing so many villagers from Yo, though. Like, yeah, and Yo is killing a lot of villagers from Hera, though, man. Yeah, it's fair. Halves from Hera here to chase. A hundred military for Hera with 30 more units in queue. If Yo kills more villagers, Hera's going to go up to 130 army. That's going to be insane. But if Hera loses that 130 army, Hera's just down to 70 bills. Yep, 100%. Hera, good job getting the kills. Yo still with 60 on food. Still 2-2 two two on relics. Yo never got bumped into the relic in the north with any of the raids, so he still doesn't know about it. crazy. I mean, both players have lost over 100 villagers. Hera's farming eco on the right. Like, there's a lot of free jobs over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I think Yo should potentially, it's easy to say, because there's so much to do, but Yo could potentially walled his north side, where the like siege workshop and farms are and stuff like that. Just wall with some gates. Yeah. To prevent that huge Lycan raid coming in, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I think Yo still fine. Uh, 140 pop against 200 is not really somewhere he wants to be. And he's fighting from a position which is really difficult now. Look at all the halves from Hera at the south side now. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's and, like 40 pop from Hera that's not killing Yo right now. Yeah, and it's perfect for Yo that the halves are there because now he can finally push back in the north. I think the north side is the most critical area for Yo. So if Hera goes south, it doesn't really mean that much because there's a castle there, his eco there, and there's only military production buildings. So if he gets attacked there, it doesn't matter for Yo. Yo needs to clean the north side, and Hera is maybe focusing on the wrong spot right now, honestly. Yeah. Well, I, He's trying I, to go attack there. I think he uh, might just click the halbs past the, you know, the corner and past that castle into yeah. Yo's eco. We travel yes, that then far. Yes, but then he's under castle fire with halbs. That's not good. Yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah. Still Yo having a big issue keeping his skirm count up. He's got the hustlers. Yeah. He's got the vills. It's the skirm count. And with 400 wood, would love to see... He actually just sold... 300 wood just to get more gold. He's going to go for more Elite oh. Coustier, I guess, but yeah. I would love to see a couple more ranges for Yo, just to make more skirms. But look, now Yo is sending all the units in. The Coustier they're coming, and they're going to one-shot those uh, Light Cap almost with the charge attack. They one charge hit, which deals a lot of damage, and the rest of their hit only deals 15 damage. Only. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So they have to do one hit. <laughs> do they have to do one hit and then go back and charge sometimes? Uh, but they're just so good at cleaning up and, and running back and waiting again. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what Yo is so good at doing with this unit. Now he's going for the treb. He thinks twice, doesn't jump yet, but now he jumps the halves. He'll clean up the halves, probably. Look Ooh, at the raid from Hera, though. Hera has found villager kills. 
Oh yeah, it's a lot of build kills, but look at Yo's farm eco staying stable at 70 all the time. I know, I think it's the farms that he, he pulled to the back, like between his castles and into that corner. That's been so important to him. Yeah. Oh, Herod. Raids coming in there too, though. The, Herod sees this with his gates, right? Yeah. This is insane. This is absolute insanity. I think I think Yo overcommitted to that trap. Yo is on 120 pop and calls the GG. Oh my god. Nice wow. game, man. Things fell apart there for Yo. He just had the army count and then lost it all and then realized he's he's just yep. completely open to raids, right? Like Harris threw, pushing him in so many different areas. And yep. honestly, just a sick sick job from Hera here. I think in early Imperial Age, clearly it, the, the right side was important. It looked like Hera was going to make progress there and yep. that Yo was going to crumble. And then Yo, with the forward buildings, did such an amazing job. Harassing and annoying yo, but at the end of the it day, down to saves. Mm, I I mean we could even yo's gonna end this game and see that relic, and be yeah. like, God, I could have used that, right? That too, that too. So I mean the relic could have been a big role because they both collected three and a half thousand gold from two relics. So what is that like one point seven k gold per relic? That could have been yeah. huge. Yeah, and uh, a bit of extra food as well. Yeah, wouldn't wouldn't be bad. But I also yes, think I also weekend. think um, Hera. I don't know if it came down to sieves because Yo still collected more gold, but I think that yeah. Hera had a more diverse like army comp. Right, he had Light Cap to raid. He had Halb to chew up calf, which is mostly what Yo made, and then he also had Imp Skirm. So it's like maybe Yo could have. I guess it feels very weird to go for your own Halb. Yeah. yeah. Feels very weird to go for your own help. Yeah, I just I think Vietnamese are a really good pick. I think it's an amazing pick. I remember talking to Harry about it like three, four weeks ago when he was mm. thinking about like how do I counter Malay? Because a lot of people go Malay here. It's true. Yeah. But if it goes super late, Vietnamese are solid, man. Always have been. Well played, Hera. Yeah, super nice game. Uh well played both players, so honestly it was super, super nice to watch because uh, it was always action, right? It wasn't stalemate, it was just push all over the place all the time and suddenly it just went out of control for yo and yeah. he couldn't hold it anymore i also think like another kind of tiny detail for yo there were like three or four instances in this game where he was so close to taking out a hera castle yeah and i mean props so... to hera right props to hera on the defense but i think mm. yo just had to go in with an additional treb or two in those instances a bit more patience there and when he surprises hera with the siege hera doesn't have the time to react hera loses maybe one or two castles that he wouldn't have that he didn't lose this game and then yo is suddenly wide open to raid Hera's eco whoa okay not as i was expecting here civ wise we've got game number two yo's home map yo looking for a response and yo's going for um a map that he has been incredible on uh in spiral and the generation we've got here is the generation where the water's a bit further from the players so this could affect their their openings a bit but Malians for Yo makes so much sense, MBL, because you've got the cheaper wood buildings, lots of flexibility. You also tend to see a lot of like stable units, like knights and camels and booming in Castle Age. Hera's gone for yep. the Spanish yep. here, which is like, <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, I guess that's good because you don't normally see a lot of feudal age archers on this map. But yeah, Spanish is insane against Malians, though. Like it's so good, and if with Conks, yeah, yeah, they struggle so much. And if uh, if Yo. I mean, if Hera has something planned here, I think Yo can get really caught off guard. Okay, got it. Um, by the way, viewers on my side, sorry, I have the. I think you probably have the Pine Tree mod on as well, MBL. I'm gonna have to change that. Um, I'm constantly switching my mods because of playing and, and casting, but I will change that after this. Why? Why change it? Because it doesn't look as nice, MBL. The tiny pine trees it doesn't fit the map. I think they do. Well, I guess for this map and the previous map, it wasn't too bad. But we've got like some, some different themes, you know, like some tr some like African themed trees and all types of stuff. Mm -hmm. So thoughts on how Hera plays this though? Because like Conquistadors, yeah, it's amazing. Conquistadors can wreck everything though. How do you easily get to Conquistadors here? Any guesses? Uh, I think he has to play a standard first scouts, right? Hmm. I think Hera might ignore waters considering his tree on wood. Usually if he wants to dock something, you go uh, five on wood. Okay. The, the thing is about this map, sometimes you have the lake close to you, and sometimes it's far away from you. I yeah. think Hera noticed that this is the generation with the lake that is far away, and actually just adapts. He goes for the uh, wood instead, like a uh, tree on wood, and scout build. He doesn't hmm. want to go for the water. 
What's interesting about that is the... Yogo's 5 on wood, by the way. Sorry for interrupting. So he wants to go for water. Yeah, no, no, 100%. That's all good. I think that, like, you can actually use the scouts to kill fish, in theory. Yeah, you can. And you can use spearmen and scouts. And maybe you can sneak a look later. Yeah. I could see Hera doing that. Well, Yo's going to go forward with one villager here. Now, every time I've seen players dock on this map, they've always been going with two vills because they don't want to lose the villager to the Dark Age scouts. So I'm a little surprised to see Yo send one. That said, with this generation, having to walk across the map this far with two villagers would mean your economy feels a bit worse. So that could be the reasoning there for Yo. But long term, uh... this map is about expanding to other stones and golds. And then obviously the hunt and the berries. And Hera is making a mill on berries. What do you think about the mill though? I would like it on the other side next to deer. Agreed. But uh, is it too far away then? I'm not sure what Hera's thinking there. Yeah, I, I agreed. I think you place it near the deer so you can take the deer. Hera though is a player who on maps where there's like additional deer and whatnot. He's never really the type to take risks there. And Yo's going to lose the villager on the dock because Hera's checking the dock. And Yo didn't get Loom, and Yo didn't send two bills. Really wasteful from Yo there. I'm disappointed to see that. Oh my god, yeah. Normally you send two bills and put the dock in between those two shorefish, right? Yep, yep. And that's what I've seen, and Yo doesn't really do that. Uh, that's, that's that's a really weird thing. I mean, yeah. Yo's played Spiral so many times this entire yeah. season, and he always sent two bills, or at the very least got Loom there. That's so weird to me. But yeah. maybe because of the slightly different position, he changed his thinking. I, I don't know. But Hera's living the dream now, right? He's like, I don't have fish, which sets me back. But now I've killed yeah. a villager, which is amazing for me. If we want something positive from it, for, for Yo, is that Hera's initial scout is half HP. Yep, true. Which means he can't win the scout war against Hera's scout. I mean, you know, Yo's scout. And he can't really snipe another villager. Yep. But Hera is going for a scout build over, as you can see here, and he's going to make more scouts, which is going to be problematic for Yo, potentially. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how this plays out. So Yo just scouted the other pond, and he yeah. doesn't see the dock from Hera. So mm. he now knows that Hera hasn't docked, and I this isn't something that people have really been doing, right? So this is kind of out of the box. Everyone's been going for the dock. Hera choosing not to do it. And... I think Yo wants to like go forward here, but do you want to stay forward if you see Harrison feudal age so quickly here? I would be well, a little I think, uneasy. I think I like it. Okay. Because Hera doesn't see it. Hera's just gonna finish his stable, stop producing scouts, and then Yo will have spearmen. Yeah. At the time he's producing scouts, and then there's gonna be scout uh, scout spears on Hera's berries, and Yo has fish behind. True. Which makes this forward so good. And his small ends, his buildings doesn't cost that much. I think this is a really good strategy. And you're always super dangerous with the forward. Be careful, Hera. Yeah, Hera doesn't know, right? Hera has scouted the pond, obviously. Hera looking for Yo's wood lines, looking for information that he hasn't been able to verify yet. Small walls from Yo at his wood lines at home, which is really smart. That way his villagers are protected. Needs to send them all back to work. There's a whole bunch of idols I'm noticing. But he's fixing them now. And Hera looking around. Hera wondering what's happening. Hera's going to see the barracks. He's going to see the archer range. So Hera knows now. So it's going to be like a trash build yeah, from sorry. you. Like spear skirmisher here, I guess. Kind of like a Byzantines would do. Mm, mm, I think... Um, yeah, I think it's going to be just spears and uh, skirmishes, like you say. And I think it's going to be a lot of them, because this is a very open map. Yep. And I think Yo wants to push Hera back, so he can potentially stop the stone gathering from Hera. Makes sense. Uh, Hera sent the spearman to the fishing ship of Yo now. Yo is making a fire galley so smart to take out those uh, spearmen, so that uh, Hera can't really kill them. Yep. Yeah, and that was Hera's initial fact approach. About, oh, interesting fact about spearmen against uh, ships. Is that they have actually bonus damage against them. So Hera just killed a fishing ship with the two spearmen right now. Yeah, very it's quickly quite... there. Yeah, uh, super, super interesting. And yeah, range from Hera behind this. Now Hera was planning on having access to Oops, some sorry, of this food. And now there's a tower from Yo, which is going to be on this whole area. Spanish builders build faster though, so Hera decides to counter tower. Good decision from Hera to counter tower, I feel. 
Yeah, but look, look at this. You're always, gonna, you're always gonna delay this now. Hera with the back scout, though, just came from the stable. You're always trying to snipe this. Remember, though, guys, that Spanish uh, villagers build faster, so this counter tower is coming up faster than usual. And will be up at the same time as your uh, tower, even though Hera got interrupted and started later. Yeah. Nice job there. Ooh, and... Spearman should have gotten hits there. What do you think? Yeah, it, yo, was, yo misclicked a couple times there. I think <laughs> we saw some unit issues. He, he actually clicked the tower with three of his skirms instead of hitting the vill. Yeah. But, I mean, at the end of the day, Yo's has fish. And yep. Yo kid takes up berries and hunts at home. And Hera oh. is disrupted here. So this is, I think, what Yo wanted to accomplish. But look at Hera. He's docking on the right side now. I was thinking, like, maybe Yo should go dock there, but Hera did it first. Mm. And now Hera's going to start producing fish as well, which is going to give him a really nice boost. You cannot leave your forward villagers here if you're Yo. You just can't let them mm. be. you got to stay with them with your army. Hera will pounce on that. He might have to send the Spearman home, right? But, uh, yeah. Oh, the overchop on the wood line. Let's see if you... Hey, I don't think Yo notices that. Uh, Hera's gonna be right in there. He's gonna have really low HP scouts. Uh, Yo is gonna notice that and fight back because there's so many wills there. Hera snipes one will. Very nice job. And now Yo quicks wall quick walls that uh, woodline. Interesting fact about walling in the woodline. I think you notice this yourself when you're playing. Is that you always have one or two villagers always wanting to chop that wood that makes you chop out. You know what I mean? Yep. They always want to work their way out of that wall. So there's always going to be a villager chopping wood on the edge if you're not paying attention. And that's why you have to be very careful about overchop. Oh, look at Yo! <laughs> wanting to dock the top side. <laughs> but Hera's already there. Let's see what's going to happen now. Is there going to be a demo? Or, okay, there's going to be a dock from Yo and he's starting to go on gold, which means he will do another fire galley. Uh, Hera is not on gold yet, but he's producing a fire galley. And Hera has skirms to clean this up. Let's see, maybe... This could oh, be this defense from Hera though is sick. Though. This could be this could be so rough for Yo. Yeah. He it, like Hera beat him to this area, and I'm sure Yo is even feeling right now like this is not the position I wanted to be in because if I yeah. lose my he spearman, to both legs. Yeah. yep. If I lose my spearman, I'm gonna lose all the villagers as well. And Yo hasn't killed a single eco unit this game. It's only been Keep Hera getting kills. Keep in mind though, the kills. scouts are low HP. The skirms won't do that much to the damage to the spears as normal because Yo has armor on them. Initially from the Pierce armor bonus from Malians, but uh, honestly, okay, Yo is making a tower on the dock. I like that. Okay. If he can get it up. Yeah, we'll see if he can. The spears are a bit out of position. Hera's done a great job with the scout control here. Yeah, Just making Yo work. Yeah. And there's going to be the fire galley. Good from Yo to be able to kill Hera's fish. Will be awkward for Hera to contest and defend his fish, but behind this, Hera still has his berries, which Yo hasn't taken. Hera still has yeah. his farms, so I think this is the perfect position for Hera. Yeah, Hera loves his farms, man. As you can see, he's farmed up like twice layer, three layers already of farms. Yep. While Yo still hasn't farmed around his TC yet. But uh, the fish from Yo has been working overtime, so those fishing ships have been br has been bringing a lot of food in. Uh, that's for sure. We could see a sick demo here, dude. There's so many units. Like, oh, if no. Hera had a demo instead of a fire galley, all those okay. skirms would be so dead. Dude, you scared me. I thought Hera had a demo in there. But, uh... <laughs> I was kind of oh, hoping, honestly. It would have been pretty sick boom there. Yeah, the, then then it would be over. I wasn't hoping that because the game would be over then. Yeah, yeah, true, like, fair. If Hera, lo I mean, if Yo lost all the army, then it's resigned that time. Okay, Yo comes with the forward tower and the berries. I think it's a late tower. This is a tower you want uh, really early, but uh, he had a tower there. Uh, that's being said, but. Don't think that tower will do much. It doesn't even range. The berries is on at the moment, but yep. it will range later. Forging for Hera and a bunch of scouts. If Hera masses enough skirms, jump on the spearmen with the skirms, and also jumps on the whole army from Mister Yo. I think Yo is in big trouble. Hera's collected Hera is, one thousand yeah. more food. Yeah, and he's, he's preparing for castle age, as you can see. He's now uh, making a mining camp on the stone for conks later on, and then. If he has a lot of feudal army combined with conks, good luck to Yo. Yeah, good luck to Yo right now, right? Forging's already in. Yep. The spearmen are going to be ficked off by the skirms. And Hera has just dominated Yo so far in this game. From the start yeah. with the villager snipe on the dock, the counterattack to the de and defense. And he's still fishing. And yep, still fishing as well, which is so good. And now he can counterattack. Like, Yo cannot stop skirm scouts because you can't wall out the scouts. 
but then the skirms could slowly kill your villagers. So Yo's even dropping a tower for skirmishers. And he's miles away from Castledge. He's six villagers behind. He has wheelbarrow, so only three in that case, but only three is also a lot. Uh, Hera has the better sieve, I would say, for, for, for the Castledge. And if Yo can't even hit the Castledge, I think it's always now tower defending at home. Which is a very bad sign if you're behind. Yeah. Especially against the Spanish. Like, you are supposed to be ahead of Spanish. You're supposed to stop them from getting into Conquistadors. You're supposed to do a lot of damage to them and be ahead. But Yo is behind. You're not gonna stop Spanish. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. This game is over. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Harris played it perfectly. Now, Hera just yeah. kept it simple. He said, you take your fish, you complicate your life. I'll just take the berries and farm. And I think you made I a think lot of overdid it. I think Yo overdid it. He could play it so much more simple with Mali and Searing in Spanish. Yeah, like he, he tried to be too fancy. And take docks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like he Spears could and Skirms is such a weird play to see, in my opinion. Yeah, he didn't need to forward. He don't need to forward Spanish in this position. Spanish defends that pretty easily with the defensive tower. And if he can go scouts, he's just chilling. But of course, Hera mastered it insanely well, though, I have to say. Like, yeah, he... yeah. He held it on so well, but I think it's wrong strategy from Yo, though. Yeah, Hera sacrificed two oh, scouts the demo. against the demo there. At least Hera yeah. noticed it, and it wasn't his whole group that went down. And the thing is that Hera's scouts are so upgraded that if Yo goes for a monk defense against uh, Kongs, I think Hera's gonna have light Kev uh, yeah. in, in the end. Uh, and there's no, I think, there's no way. I think I think Yo will call it. When I think he'll up. call it. Yeah, I, I think like this strategy was rooted in lack of self belief, honestly. And after seeing the early G the early uh Castle Age, he might just be forced to call it here. But it's so yeah, sad because Yo Yo's normally such a fighter, right? To even think those thoughts kind of <laughs> bothers me. And he's not gonna call it. He's gonna garrison. Of course not. He's gonna he's gonna drop the market, he's gonna buy his food, he's gonna click up. But there's gonna be conks on this field before Yo has any answer to them. Yeah, and Hera's gonna place him. that uh castle, I think, straight on the berries there to take out the tower and so that he can take berries again with six, seven extra bills and boost his eco. He can also put TCs down if he wants to after the castle. Yeah. I think after the castle, he could put a perfect TC on the left side between the gold, stone, and the wood to take all those resources with one building, which is amazing. Yeah. Res, res collect is going to be ridiculous here. And it's going to be tough for Yo. Uh, he's going to have an army of. Oh, one... he got demoed all the skirms. <laughs> also got demoed all the skirms. What a moment right there. They both. Uh, I don't. I don't think it, Yo cares or Her I mean, I don't think Hera cares. I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, Yo even sees that Hera has like 500 score lead. He's putting up a castle. He's halfway to Castle Age. At this point, I would resign 100%. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm thinking like, okay, I have nothing. And I'm going to soon have more than nothing. I'm going to be dead because yeah. of monks. Yeah, that's not Yo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo's like, he was like, we got this, baby. Is Yo gonna try to monk rush on the top, you think, or something? With his three mm. wheels? I think he might consider a TC there, in all honesty. Go for double stable at home with bloodlines. Yeah, like double maybe stable, like camels. He's gonna go camels. Camels and boom. Because like when you see a castle, you hope that your opponent's not gonna have the eco. The problem here yeah, is look. we know like Hera's gonna have an insane economy. Look at Hera, he's sniffing for those villagers. He's like a, a dog trying to find some missing person. With those two knights, he's uh, he's looking everywhere, but he can't really find uh, the villagers just yet. He might find the skirmisher walking all alone, but that's all he's gonna find. Yep. So those villagers just managed to get away. Yo's putting down some TCs, and yeah, let's see. Yeah, I mean, Yo drops the TC in the perfect <clears throat> position, right? This is the type of spot you want to be in on Spiral. Uh, I think two TCs initially is the most realistic if he wants camel numbers, which he will need. But yep. Hera will is on three TCs, and Hera has not gone for all in Kisidors. This is a very clean build from Hera, and again, it's just the, the economy aspect behind it, which has been so smooth. Yeah, look at all the farms he's pumping out immediately. You know when Hera gets two TCs up, there's suddenly farms around them after one minute. Yeah, it's like it's insane how well how well he's doing economy, and that's something I remember from him when I played him. Uh, you know the Hun Wars. Oh yeah, back in days like 2015. nine years ago, almost yep. yeah. Um, we we almost always played the uh, hunts, and it was always a race between me and Hera to get to Castage and 3TC. As soon as Hera got to Castage before me with 3TC and farms around his TC, because he always did this, 
He's done this since he was a kid. <laughs> I knew the game was over. <laughs> if he uh, had this those, before I did. For those that don't know, MBL and Hera would play for like 10 hours a day, and then I would cast for like six of those hours. <laughs> like that literally, is, yeah. that's, that's and, what and happened. T90, T90 back then had like uh, 15, 20 viewers, and I had like 100 on my stream, and I always hosted T90 after. And T90 was like, oh my god, MBL, thank you for the host. <laughs> <laughs> it meant a lot so, to me, man. It meant, me, it meant yeah, a lot so, to me. You're a beast. So the roles have changed. Now I'm the one with 70 viewers, and you're like uh, the other way around. Well, <laughs> my favorite story, though, like the best way to really like give people an idea. So like back then I was like in, in school or like working, right? So I, I didn't work till like noon. So yeah. I got on and I casted for for like three hours in the morning. And his score was like like 4-2 MBL and Hun Wars because Hun Wars were fast. And then yeah. from there, it was like, I go to work for a seven hour shift. I come home. You guys were still playing. So I update yeah, the scoreboard and it's like, it's like MBL 11, Hera 12. <laughs> and I just pick yeah. up where I left off with more Hun Wars. Like it was insane to think about. Oh, no, it was like MBL 11, Hera 0. Like, I was oh yeah, you were, yeah, true. You were, it was, it, you would win like 75% of the time back then. Yeah, I, I was winning back then. Yeah. yeah. But uh, now it's... Uh... The roles have changed everywhere, man. I'm back losing to, the games. Back to I'm Hun Wars, baby. Back to Hun Wars. We gotta get back to Hun Wars. Yeah. But I mean, what a great job from Yo here, though, to stabilize things, right? Like, he's not dead yet. I mean, imp impressive. Um, yeah. Behind by 15 or so Vils, behind by eco upgrades, probably behind an army as well. But this is the fighting spirit the guy has. Uh, Doubt made a joke yesterday when he was casting with me. And he was just like, He's like, I made a rule never to cast ACCM because ACCM never resigns. And I feel yeah. like if there were to be another player, Doubt would make a rule not to cast. It would be Yo. But this is, I'm not saying Yo should resign right here, but I'm saying you and I probably would have when we saw Hera in Cast Lage. 100%. And he's still going. Uh, Handcart hand card even 40 farmers. It's so, so comfortable to be in Hera's position. And look, look how he's getting so many farmers. Like, is this magic or what? Like, I look away and suddenly I look back at Hera's base. And it's full of farms. <laughs> look, look at all the farms. <laughs> it's crazy. Look at yours farms in comparison. Yeah, I mean, but to be fair, like, Hera's been... Obviously, Hera's farms to get to the stage, amazing, right? But he is in, he's in full control now. When you're in full yeah. control, should be a bit but easier where, to farm. Uh, <laughs> where are these wills coming from? He still has the same wills on, oh. on wood all the time. And every time he makes oh. new bills, he puts them on fi uh, farms. It seems Sorry, right? freaking out here because the camels actually found a really nice spot here on the conquistadors. Nice hits. And 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 why are why is it dangerous T90 that camels get close to conks? Well, because camels have bonus damage, MBL. Exactly. So when camels get close to conquistadors, they melt them. But the danger about conquistadors is that you can't really get to them that easily. They turn around, they shoot, and they deal half the damage to your camels or even full if they're many. And then you have monks behind like this too, which is going to clean up the camels in a few seconds once they are in uh, greater numbers here. Yeah. I think Yo might feel kind of okay with that engagement because he killed quite a few conquistadors. But Hera's got the monks, like you said. I actually would love yeah. to see a couple missionaries with the conquistadors. That would be really nice. If Hera sells his wood now, he can go imp. And he did sell 500 wood to Jeez, go imp. Yeesh. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. 50 and on food. Where do you think he wants castle T90? Hmm. The next castle, where do you think it I goes? I think it's going to be on the hill near the berries. A Yo's berries. For you. Yeah, that could be good. I was thinking middle, but yeah, that's even better if he can go that yeah. far. I think like middle middle makes sure that you don't throw when you have the lead. So middle's yeah. fine. But if you're confident enough to win the game, you go for the one near the berries. I think the berries one is a little ambitious, though. Yeah. God, Imp Hera's doing so Hera. good, dude. He's actually... Yeah. Look at this dodge. Oh, he almost killed that monk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at that dodge. Yeah, T90. <laughs> what about that dodge, man? <laughs> that's, a, that's a dodge like my dodge right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, Hera's eco's insane behind this. Insane, actually. And you're always going for defensive cast now. You're always aiming towards imp too. But if you're going to be imp against Spanish, uh, you're going to be in trouble. because, Especially if you're behind, because Spanish is a way better Imperial Civ. They have something called Supremacy which makes the villagers 80 HP and with more armor. So if you try to raid economy, if you try to send units into economy and kill villagers, they're not gonna die. 
Yeah, I feel like you are losing villagers. I feel like Hera's is not a supremacy player though. Like he you're, is, he you're is the for, best example. Is. Yeah, but he is is the one to do that in Imperial. Like, he always does this. Okay, he does it okay. to get to avoid getting raided. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you rank go. games always done this. Yeah. Okay. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't. I haven't. Like, for, for, I would say you do a really good job of like using them to attack Trebs and stuff like that. All right. I think everyone should be researching it regardless of yeah. your elo to prevent 100%. from getting raided it's such a good tech very very good tech like if you're if you're playing spanish post imp and you don't have supremacy you're you're a fool like you you don't belong in this game you should quit you should not like you should do, find another job like, <laughs> it's, it's, like you, tell you have to get supremacy yeah if you don't get supremacy because you think oh, i'm not gonna fight with my villagers anyway they're not for fighting they're for defensive purposes as well for both purposes, so do a supremacy if you're an imp with Spanish. That's a nice little supremacy pep talk there, MBL. I like it. Yeah. I feel like you've just changed people's lives. I think so too. Uh, I from... think people <laughs> think people would quit now because I told them to find another <laughs> job. So I, I did change their life. 100%. <laughs> That's how you change their lives. <laughs> uh, well, there's supremacy. We talked about it, right? And Era, yeah. he's building a castle on the left side right now. To further control some golden stone. Yo's building a TC that may never go up. And again, Hera knows this game is over a long time ago. Yeah, and he's I, just living his life now. Yeah, exactly. And what a confidence boost it is, right? Like if you're already won the first game, which was such a long game, which could have gone either way, and now yeah. you've won this game since five or ten Ooh. minutes ago. Do you think that impacted Yo's choices in this game? The, what, other the first game? game? Yeah. Well, I said before the series, I think Yo is very. Uh, there's like. Two players that Yo has said publicly, I just don't think I'm as good as them, and I think it affects his decisions. And I think right. two of those players are Viper and Hera. I think for Leary, he even I don't know what his scoreline has been against Leary in the past, but I think that he's actually had pretty decent results against him compa in comparison. Kind of okay, but I think Leary wins him. Like Leary has self said that he's a better version of Yo. Maybe, but like I, like, he said that Yo does everything he does, but. He Liri, uh, Liri said he does everything a little bit better. Yeah. Well, I agree. I think in this tournament, Yo could have beat Liri because Liri's preparation, I didn't feel was as good but as I, the others. I, but I, yeah. I, I think that statement Liri made counts for all players, though. Like, that counts for, like, everyone is doing kind of the same thing, but someone is always doing things a little bit better. Yeah. But you just have to find out how to, how to play that a little bit better. You have to either grind a lot or you have to study the game like crazy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's not that easy. Yeah, maybe but, you have to be a talent too, but I don't. I don't believe in. Well, like, uh, but, but like yo, maybe, I've watched yo just... play Spiral a thousand times this season. Never, ever, ever did was he greedy with one villager on the dock with no loom. If he went with one villager, he gets loom. I think you're greedy yeah. and you take risks when you think that you're just not as good, right? Potentially, yeah. So I think that's part of it for yo. Now yo's still in this game. Hera hasn't exactly killed him. Hera could have gone halb. Hera. Instead, is going Ooh, rushing the castle, bombard tower, and sappers, and is going to fill rush down this castle. Full disrespect. And it, it's a good strat with the Spanish. It's a good strat. It, that castle will melt, dude. That will go down so fast. Huh. I would like to see him positioned so he's not going uphill. And I would Yo also has... like to see Halb. <laughs> Yo has uh, Farimba, though, which makes his camels plus... Uh... Five attack more, and yep. it's, or well, how much is it? Plus, plus it's plus, plus five. Yeah, so plus five. in total, yep. it's plus seven with the blacksmith upgrades. Yeah. Yeah. So now it's going to get plus seven, and Hera. Yeah. Well, he didn't really make the army yet, you know. So this could punish him a little bit, maybe. Villagers just took out a trebuchet there. Supremacy OP. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely Hera is playing super greedy here. It, the yeah, halb switch. Like, the no. halb switch was the, the was the play 100% to finish the game. Yeah, BBT, Sappers, and Supremacy Wheels will attack castles with 10 Kongs. I don't think that's the play. He has 14 Kongs on the field now, and and he has actually less army than... Oh my god, he killed the trap with Wheels. <laughs> there you go. I mean, if he... <laughs> listen, if he didn't have Supremacy, that would have been one Look of the this. biggest throws. Hoardings. Hoardings. Architecture. Bombard Towers. Castle on the right side. I think he's just gonna kill that castle with Vils afterwards. Yeah. On oh, the left side, sorry. Yeah. Uh, but Yo is like Yo is trying everything he can. Yeah. While Hera is like, how do I, 
I was like, <laughs> stop myself from throwing this, maybe. Like, <laughs> it's making, uh, it's making barracks now, so now it's finally switching into halberdiers. He's realizing, okay, I can't really keep doing this because I'm actually in the risk of losing if he has Farimba and stuff. But look at that, the castle on the left to the Bills and Trap going down so fast when he, when he has sappers. Sappers makes villagers take more damage to buildings and siege, by the way. The new upgrade for the last month was that uh, yeah, sappers actually do more damage to siege. It wasn't like that before, so now they can kill traps, ramps, super easily, right? Yeah. So... I mean... I'm a little unconvinced with Hera's ability to finish off the game. Uh, He's got 160 bills with 15 more in Q. Finally, the Pikeman upgrade Hera. I think what he's trying to do... Is, is it me playing with Hera right now? I don't know. Yeah, I, like, I think he's Thanks trying to... Thanks for giving to... me inside information, T90. I'm enjoying this game right now. With the bomb of the towers on Yo, uh, with Hera's nickname, is actually really amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel like something you would do at this point. Yeah. I think it, it certainly inspired it. Like, Bombard Towers are a really good play. Just really just needed to have, like, a couple pikes here. It, it's given Yo an opportunity, man. Like, Yo's eco hasn't taken a lot of damage. If Yo could just expand to get a little bit more in the way of resources. It is Yo, after all. The guy doesn't die. So, maybe he's Harris given him a chance. But, yeah, he's he's dead. <laughs> he doesn't die, but kills. he's dead, you know. Yeah. Yo does die. He just doesn't resign, man. Yeah, well, I mean, in game one, I thought he was dead like three separate times, and then yeah, he somehow oh, turned around. Look at the villagers on the on the left side again, killing the TC in uh, lightning quick speed. Yep. Oh my god, that's crazy. And Hera still doesn't have the siege really to push Yo back. Yo Coming forward still with, with 10,000 hills again. Yep. And Pikes are there now. This is what Hera's been missing. Halb upgrade as well is missing, but he'll get that eventually. Yeah, and it Trebuchet now. is going to go down to villagers. It's insane. It's insane how fast it goes down. And now Bomber Towers, right? Come on. Come on, Hera. Buy stone. Buy stone. Bomber Towers <laughs> here. Come on. <laughs> you would be buying so much stone. You'd be selling would, all your I would, wood. I would buy it. Yeah, yeah. I would buy it. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Buying stone. Bomber Tower. Yeah, let's go. Does this, like, affect... Obviously, Supremacy, right? Big Vil count. Bomber Towers. All things help you win a game, right? Help you hold a lead as well. Um... Does this affect your mentality if you're yo? Like, if this is happening to you, game two, and you resigned in Castle Age, versus you're still playing on now and you're seeing what's happening, does it affect you, you think, if you're in Yo's position? Well, it doesn't really affect him that bad. He just knows that he has to make a damn huge comeback to win the series, right? Yeah, yeah. It, being down two series never not really a good thing. Viking, thank you for the sub, by the way. Sorry, uh, uh, T90. I just have to say that. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's all good. I mean, we're, we're running out of things to talk about here because poor Yo is. Uh, he's believing, he's dude. Dead. He's got, I mean, he's uh. got 70 on food. He's got 70 on food in Farimba, so he could still kill villagers pretty quickly here. And yeah, so now trying to make a Beto, uh, which is an anti help unit, anti infantry. Yeah. But uh, if you only have three of them against all those helps, I don't think that was going to work. And Yo only has one castle to produce from, which is going to take him forever to get the mess up. He's making a lot of light caps to try to raid, but he can't really raid. Verse command death. Thank you for the raid. Uh, raid, uh, prime. Put us up. Are Sorry. we? Is that what we're doing? We're just both doing shoutouts of alerts, <laughs> and not using yeah. the mute button. Is that the, is that what we're doing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Missionaries now. The hair also got <laughs> Inquisition, so we'll convert fast. And Yo's population has only gone up compared to where it was before. Era is only lost more villagers compared to where it was before. Era's lost a hundred yeah. villagers in this game. Yo is still Which alive. Is amazing. You think so? He's still, he's in a better position than he was before, that's 100%. They, yeah, before what, Feud Lage, Cast Lage? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, he's still in a terrible spot. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm just, I agree with you. <laughs> the spot's not great. But he's finding damage, and Hera's not realizing. Like, the left corner, there's a Light Cav killing Vils. There's a, a Light Cav killing Farmers. In the north, yeah. Yo just killed, like, 20 or so Vils. If Yo could hold the middle, which he's not going to do, maybe then there was a chance. But Hera, okay. I think, moments away from finally forcing Yo to tap out here. Yeah, when the castle goes down, what's Yo going to do? He has nothing yeah. to defend. And that's that should be where the next Bombard Tower goes if Yo's going to do it. And Hera, honestly, oh just he just kind of dominated this game. Yo never really got anything going yeah. from the start. Yeah, well played by Hera, and he's so quick as well. 
gotta you gotta get uh, a little bit faster as well to stop Hera, and you gotta be a bit smarter. The, or like honestly, it's not really that much about APM. You need to make the right decisions in this game yes. to get far. Yep. Like if you okay, if you play 120 APM, you are always doing some overactions. It doesn't really matter, uh, or a lot of clicks on your mouse. That's also causes a APM, but. What matters is that you do the right things, and Yodin do the right things. He went for forward, he lost the villager on the dock. He could have played scouts, spears, take the fish and be a super ahead and go for crossbow with ballistic to take advantage of his save, but nah, he just did huge risks and no reward. Yep. He tried to get rewards, but he couldn't. It was a good idea, uh, maybe, because his forwards are always good, but Hera counter, it's so nice too. So nice. I know, it's, it's, it's so tricky, right? If Yo really felt like he's going to, you know, maybe he feels like he can't win today without the risks, right? So, yeah. To, but to see Yo go for that and, and we feel like, you know, the strategy never really clicked, it is also yeah. a little bit disappointing. So, um, can kind of see both sides of it. The reality is that first game is so much more important now, right? Like, Hera, he's now 2 0, and that first hour long slog po possibly destroyed Yo's confidence even before this game started. And um, right. so we'll move on. Yo will have more home maps. Yo will have Socotra and Golden yeah. Pit to choose from. He could choose to go for Hera's home maps as well, but I think that would be a little bit foolish. Okay, big thing to say here. We're in the next game. Oh, we're in and the next game. And we maybe thought like, Yo is thinking, I have so little hope. I don't think I can win, so I'm going to take risks. And that's why game two looked bad. Yo is going to try something off the wall here. He's going to try a strat that players used in Nations Cup, which is like super fast uptime build with skipping your lumber camp to go fast oh, feudal to kill fish. And I know the build, and I could explain why in team games it worked really well, but I hate the fact I'm seeing this because I think it is too high risk on migration. Uh... Well, I don't hate... Is he gonna go for a transport ship in the middle and then dock on Hera's side? Is that the plan? Um. So so let me explain, I guess, what happened in Nations Cup. So basically, it was 4v4, right? And oftentimes, what players were doing is they'd add, like, 3-4 fishing ships, they'd go up fast, the flanks would go galleys. But you could never yeah. get past the flank to get to the other player's fish in the back. So yeah. what people did with Lithuanians and Persians was this build where you go up super quick and then you can pass the one flank and get to the pocket and kill the fish. Um, but then eventually oh, yeah, the problem is it's like you had teammates to back you up because the flank's eco was total crap. So yeah, he's going to try, I think just go galleys to kill Harris fish. And he's definitely mm. giving himself his best chance of doing that, but it is a long distance to travel. So I'm yeah, really we can curious. Definitely see that, uh, we can definitely see that he's not focusing on going for a fish boom because he made for the dock first and now taking his the trees. Yep. He's gonna go up very fast, like you say. Very nice yep. prediction there, T90. Good experience from you to call that out. I think, uh, for example, Membus sitting here now and be like, uh, uh, what the hell? Well, you know, like he doesn't know what's no, going on. No, I'm sure he knows. He just... Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, I'm but, sure he's... But you, T90, with your beautiful experience, calling this strat out right away, and I think that uh, that you're 100% right. But is it going to be galleys, you say? Like, I, is, I, is that the it's case? It's galleys. I think it's galleys, yeah. Now, Hera should know this as well because Hera played Nations Cup. So, and like, there's also like, that strategy being a thing combined with, you know, Hera's experience in Nations Cup combined with Persians never being picked on migration should just be like so many signs for Hera to know that maybe he can't go for... 10 fishing ships you normally do like what you typically see if with i was videos, if i was here i wouldn't think about this i would think that you're always doing like okay he's doing the same thing as me <laughs> he's persians uh, okay you know he's got stronger dogs uh, it's okay maybe it's a choice but i would never think he would be upping that spell. i think this can catch Hera off guard honestly i don't think Hera okay. expects this super super duper fast up from you okay well what i think you should in theory do right because you're going to have the better fishing economy and better economy in general if you're Hera. The only way you lose this game is if you lose all your fish, right? So I think yeah. you you kind of wow, find a balance. So fast, though. So, like, instead of the two dock, ten fishing ships, I think you should just go, like, one dock, four to six fishing ships, click up, 
and then you go, you like just defend your fish with fires. But oh, Yo's gonna transport to the middle and then go forward dock with this. Okay, I like it. I like it. And, and fires, I like it, man. I really do. And then he can fish boom after maybe. But I, 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 I want to come back to what we talked about, right? Disappointing from Yo in game number two because it was too risky. Yo taking a risk here, whether it he wins or loses with it. Yeah. I'm happy to hear you like it. You think this is a risk worth taking versus Hera. I, I, it's, it's good to hear. Because he has Dravidians, right? Yep. Like, Dravidians has been winning 98% of the games, except for yesterday. <laughs> because where Hera won with Italians. But I think it's really nice that Yo was trying this. And I think that Yo wanted to do this from the start, but he didn't want to be 2 0 down. Oh, I forgot to change the score. Yeah. This could easily turn into 3 0 and 4 0, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, because yeah, especially. It's either, with... it's either a quick 2 1 now. Or not a quick, it's going to be a long game regardless, I think, because Hera's good eco. Or it's going to be... I think it's good for Yo, though. Well, we'll see. Really? I mean, here's here's the, the core of the, the root of the issue. Right now, Hera's already collected 400 more resources. So, even if yeah, you Yo kill the really fish... Have great, great EQ. He can yeah. just produce wheels. Yeah, like barely. So it's like, even barely, if you yeah. kill the fish, Hera's still already collected more resources. But Hera but, has not adapted his build at all. This is the same yeah, yeah. build order that he did yeah, this every is, other time. This, this is AM, man. When we face <laughs> strategies, we're like, nah, let's just play meta. Let's not do anything to adapt. We just play the same way, and then we get destroyed by GL. And, and then you guys steal that. Then if it works against you, then you guys use the same strategy, but you just yeah. perfect it a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're, that's 100% yeah. the... what you guys all do. A hundred percent. Like GL will spend, like Tato and Doubt will spend weeks scheming. They'll use it once, and then you guys are like, yeah. "Oh, that's actually really good. Let's try that." I, too. I, I have, I have some inside information here that Hera was surprised by this uptime. Hera did not know this was coming, and now this is going to be very interesting. If Yo gets the water completely, he can stop Hera from transporting. Hera now making transport ship on the left side. He's going to start transporting uh, villagers on the left. Oh, don't show the transport, Hera! Oh, the transport ship! Can it get sniped down? There's one more fire ship coming in for Yo, and if uh, Yo gets the other uh, fire ship out, he can snipe this transport ship down. Hera's running for his life. Is he gonna make another transport ship? Uh, well, actually, no, the no transport, transport actually Yo needs to kill fish because the transport's faster. Yep. Kill you fish, need to Yo. kill fish. He's, st he's starting to kill fish. He's doing it, and uh, he's got two docks there with Persia. I think they work faster, right? The 19. They do. Yep. Yep. So he's gonna get a lot of fires out before Hera gets fires. And the thing is that Yo has a really good eco at home. He has perfect eco to make fire galleys. This yep. strategy could actually be working. Yep, we'll what see. What am I seeing here? Well, Hera wants to get to the starting island. He's gonna use the transport here. He's gonna stick to oh. his plan. He's gonna Hera's get... Hera's losing his fishing ship, which means he cannot get the food to go castleage now. Well, he can maybe by himself, but he's starting to go on berries because he's thinking, my fires will die. He's starting to land the middle. Yo has scout there. What can happen here tonight? Yeah, lots of fishing ships could go down. Also, villagers for both could go down. Neither player has loom right now. Hera's oh God, getting it. Fight. If if Hera loses the villager in the middle or the scout, the one that loses the middle there, I mean, if it's fine if Yo loses it because he has another transport. But if Hera loses it, he can't transport again because his transport died. Yeah. And he has to produce fire ship now. Yeah. What a strategy from Yo! Hello, look at the score lead. Tonight, the fish boom from Yo. In the, si in the south, it's huge. Yeah, it's good. He's the fish just, kill, he's, he's huge. He's changed the order, right? He's changed the order. Oh. And Hera a wants a forward dock. I on... think Yo is using his fire gals really poorly, though. Like, he's not scouting for Hera's fish. Hera's still fishing. Hello, Yo! Wake up! <laughs> go, kill the, go kill the fish! He's gonna. He's finding them. But Hera... The, the thing is, it's three docks from Hera at home. And Hera's yeah, collected so many resources. Look at the... The res collected right now, even though all of Yo's kills, Hera's still collected... 1,200 more Hera, resources. Hera goes for a forward dock on Yo's place, but Yo has two docks there. You can easily defend that, by the way. Uh, but uh, I think Yo is sleeping a little bit with his galleys here. He needs to... Yeah, actually, he's killing Yo. He's killing Hera completely with this strategy. Yeah. Hera is screwed. Yeah, we'll completely see. Completely screwed. He's up to Castage, though. Let's yeah. see. Up to Castage with a forward dock. Villager still protected. Hera's scout did go down. Fire galley count five right now for Yo. It is four for Hera. Now, if Hera can afford to get the War Galley upgrade and upgrade his fires and keep his docks up, he still has six fishing ships. That is and that's the same that Yo has. Here. It's not that screwed. I didn't see the cast stage, to be honest, when I said it. Yeah. Uh, so the cast stage can save him. And Yo has also done a pretty poor job taking down Hera's uh, navy here. 
like there's still five fishing ship alive because uh, uh, he's not using his fire galleys very well, right? He's just standing there. Oh, scout attacking Hera's villager, and Yo scout gets pulled away. Good job from Yo to pull away. But that, my yep. worry for Yo is it takes one upgraded fire galley to kill all of his fish at home from Hera. Right, like, and now like one fire, and then Yo's completely dead at home. Yeah, but now Yo is making defensive fires at home. That's nice. Yep. There's only one duck from Hera there. And now Yo is charging in on the fish from uh, Hera again. We'll kill most of this fishing ship. We'll kill most of these galleys. And I think Hera is in a very uncomfortable spot right now. This yeah. is not what he wanted to do with Agreed. the Radiance. He wanted to have scouts in the middle. He wanted to make TCs when he's up. But instead, he has to fight for his life and defend his fishing ship, which he's just lost. And now, your Dravidians, with worse per uh, Eco than Persians, when Yo gets to cast stage, later, we can see him taking the middle instead. No War Galley upgrade for Hera. Right when Hera hits cast stage, he starts to lose everything. Yeah, he's dead. I think he's dead. He oh no, Yo demoed the dog. You demoed the dog because you're an idiot. <laughs> like, why do you do that? Yes, because you're not paying attention. And your demo comes out in aggressive stance, which means it attacks the closest thing. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, but War Galley upgrade's huge, right? Yo needs to get these kills on Hera's ships right now. If he doesn't, those six fishy ships are right there. Yeah. Funnily enough, Yo's actually transporting at the perfect time to come in here with four villagers. So he's not prevented from taking the mainland. Right. He's and killed he's taking, all of uh, Hera's fish. He hasn't lost any yet. He's but, defending a bit poorly though. Uh, on his main base. Wow, obviously. it's so tough, right? Oh, it's so tough. Big demo from Hera, killing all the fire galleys from Yo. Suddenly Hera is coming back on the water, but he has no fish. That's the problem. Hera, though, is a farm monster. He farms around the TC immediately as soon as he lost the fish. And now suddenly he's taking back the water. And now he can start transporting into the mainland again very soon. Yeah. The problem is that Yo's docks are super tanky. Even though. Oh my god, Hera docks! A <laughs> Hera devils a duck from Yo because the Hera is also an idiot who's the devil the dogs because why do you devil the dogs? There's no point to devil the dogs because your devils are an aggressive stance and they will attack the closest thing because you're an idiot who doesn't pay attention. No one can ever call me a hype caster again after this. No one can ever say I'm a hype caster. This is this is some hype here, MVL. I mean, it's not uh, it's not even hype. It's like why? What are you doing, man? You're demoing a duck. You don't demo the dogs. Yeah, well, that's. I agree, it's not ideal, and I think <laughs> Yo's pos position is horrible now. He was no fishing economy, and what he accomplished was Hera having no fishing economy. But Hera is in Castle Age. Is and it really that horrible though? He has way more villagers. He has uh, killed all the fish from Hera, which means Hera is not getting that much eco anymore. Yeah, and I think that if he just docks some random places, he can replenish his army pretty fine well where's his villagers right now in the middle the key okay, is the middle is... the key is the middle if he like he's gonna lose all of his docks and he's persians which is not a sentence you normally hear right so yeah. to lose all your docks while being persians means you can't fight back on water it has to be land and here is just adding more though. fish here what a comeback right yeah really good stuff from here like i felt like the strat like i having seen it before right it, it became very difficult for me and maybe also because of how good hair has been today it became difficult for me to believe in yo but yo accomplished what he set out to do and hair is still just like nope this is why your strategy is bad this yeah. is why my strategy problem, is good the problem why that str strategy is hard like th the reason why hair is uh, doing what he's doing is because his meta it's the best strategy possible yeah in migration it takes so long to get to the enemy place that by the time you're setting out your fire galleys on your enemy, your enemy is already almost clicked up to castlage. And by the time your enemy is castlage, you're gonna have no eco because you went all in. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem, that's what happened. And Hera, even though he lost all his eco too, managed to adapt perfectly with farms, going on berries, and then getting war galleys out and kill all the navy from Yo before Yo could hit castlage. I think Yo could have maybe saved his galleys a bit better. Ma yeah, now, maybe stable better for Yo like and. Though. Yeah. Now though, it's, it's about the middle. Yo is making a TC, and uh, he's also got pretty good food eco. He's got a monastery, and th this is why when Hera usually had full of light cab yes, around true. Yo's base, right? True. Yep. Uh, in the middle, I mean, right? Yep. But he doesn't have that anymore, so he's taking away a big aspect of Hera's play. Yep. Now Hera's only on the water, but he's killing 
all Mysterious houses. <laughs> and trust me, that's gonna hurt. Oh, you're right! All the houses are there! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, that's actually so bad. I saw he actually had two houses on the front shoreline as well that he yeah. lost. I didn't realize he had like 20 of them on the shoreline What do you think here. about Joe committing to water again? Mm, well, I like I like a couple fires to try and snipe fish, but I think the opportunity is passed. I think you have to go I think, land. I think Hera knows that Yo is also committing a little bit because he can see that Yo has an upgraded fire galley yeah. on the, or fire ship on the right side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Yo is going to drop... I mean, yeah, Yo's going to drop another dog. I actually like it because yeah. Hera has added fish. So. Yeah, now Hera can't fully focus on the land either. Yo is Omega housed. How does, yeah, it, how does it feel? Housed. As someone who's Omega housed very frequently, how does it oh feel? Oh my god, this, is hurt. this hurts. He's like 10 pop-in houses. He needs... Not, not just one house, he needs, he needs four, five, six, seven houses and there's not a lot of space to build them. Yeah. He can't produce a single thing. Yo is population blocked. He, he... can't make anything, but he, he's losing his fish. Harris losing his fish. Ooh. All of them. Nice find there from Yo, killing the fish. Yo's still going to nice. continue to lose houses as he drops more. Yeah, panic Herod... building houses now. He builds two, which makes zero difference because he's still losing two on the left. It's still population blocked. He's, he's pop blocked forever. Yep. Yo, you need more houses. More <laughs> houses than this. Well, the thing is, is you don't realize, like, you add, like, two houses, you think you're fine. When you're losing houses, sometimes you don't really realize. I do think, like, obviously, Hera, an incredible player, right? But sometimes being so caught up in the meta, I think there's not enough light bulbs that could go off in his head. Right now, your opponent has, like, no food eco. They're Persians. And they're going to, like, go, like, a, maybe a night or two with some siege. What about like double barracks, even triple barracks, and pike upgrade? It's cheaper with Dravidians. Pike scout, what? anything like that, just to push that could be really strong, right? Oh, pikes against siege doesn't really work because yeah. he can go back to his TC yeah, and he can aim ground the pikes. Yeah, I hate that's true. going pikes against siege. It's so bad. Okay, all right. I would definitely mix in pikes, but he's gonna go <laughs> double stable, and the oh, double no. stable Yo makes a lot more sense. Yo loses smoke to fire galleys and maybe two villagers. It's so sloppy though. Come on, man. Yo is killing Stay fish max though. Range. On the left side. Yeah, so he's going to find those delaying... fishing kills, which is very good. He's delaying Hera's eco so much. And also Manganelli. Oh, but Hera. Look at that. There is TC there. Oh, it's going to attack the Manganels with wheels. What the hell? I mean, I would oh, just go Don't tell me that's going to work. Yo. Yo, wake up. Wake up. Yo, wake up, please! Come on, please, yo. yo! wake up! Come please. on, yo! It's a semi-final! Don't lose two villagers! Two villagers! Don't! Repair! Uh -oh. It's repairing! Uh-oh. Hera's villagers need to run away! <laughs> oh, God! Oh. It was all calculated! Wow. From yo knew the yo. whole time. He didn't care. <laughs> he oh, didn't but look care. At the, <laughs> look at the seed shop now from Hera. Yo, yo doesn't know that seed shop is there. And you, Hera has that small little hill he can camp on, which is really great. Yo snipes two monks, though, with the scout, which is huge. Dude, and like... maybe if Hera shows his Magnal, he can jump on the Magnal now, because Hera has no monks. Hera, yeah, Hera, Hera lost both his monks, those villagers, yeah, and now his TC. TC. Hera is completely wow. crumbling right now. Yeah, 59 mils for Yo, 62 for Hera. Screw the fishing ship, they're not being efficient anyway. And middle looks so good for Yo, he's got two TCs there. Hera has one, he's adding some scouts now, but Yo has camels and a scout himself. He's not getting converted because he's Mr. Yo, he never gets converted, but he gets conversions. That's the problem. And now Hera goes for defensive castles, but he's in the corner and he can't really expand. Yo is taking the relics. Is he gonna take this D90? Is Yo taking the migration with Persians? What it's possible. I mean, it's very possible he's expanding to the other side. Even if Hera gets his castle up, this is protecting the shoreline. Like this is protecting. It's protecting the corner. It's, yeah. The corner is not important. It's the you look at you look at the whole picture here. It's that island with three goals on the left side, two goals on the top side, and a stone and wood and everything. But Hera has access to one gold, one stone. Okay, Hera's 200 food. Maybe you can say okay, he's closer to Imperial Age. Uh, Imperial Age is gonna give him what some traps. Maybe kill down the right area from Yo. But by the by the time Yo, I mean Hera goes to Imperial Age. Yo will be close himself, and I think Yo is going to expand more to the left side. Hera had so like... I think Yo is... Oh, but Hera is going to try to sneak up on the top side, which I really like, but Yo is scouting it, but he didn't see it. I don't even know who we're talking ship. about sneaking where. The top I'm side. Yo. Top side. He's standing three wheels or four wheels to build a TC. Yo scouted it, but he went straight past it, so ah. he doesn't know about it. Yep. 
But he will see it now, potentially. No, it doesn't, because he's got running different direction. And if if Hera gets a position there with the castle, that could be huge, because then he can suddenly take the left side of that island. This is crucial moment. If Yo doesn't spot this uh, transport ship from Hera, Hera could actually take this area. He's going for the TC first, and then he might be going for the castle. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I feel... <laughs> I'm struggling to keep up here. I feel like um, <laughs> I feel like maybe Yo could have outposted a little bit on the other areas, right? Uh, just to prevent Hera from being able to expand. Uh, yeah, but he was scouting with the scout. He just didn't look. You know mm, what I mean? Yeah, he, he was didn't running it. past it with the scout. He saw it, but he didn't see it. That's the difference. Like if your scout sees it, it's not necessarily that you see it because you might be looking at another point of the map. But if Hera was starting to build something, then he could see it later. But he Yo, only saw the villagers. Yo's insistence upon continuing to go onto water must be so annoying for Hera. It's like every time Hera looks, he's there's a red fire galley looking for fishing ships. It's really just... Wow. <coughs> I did not think I'd be the one sneezing in this cast today, MBL. Sorry about that. Bless you. Bless you, my friend. What a game, dude. Right. What a game. Dude. This is what Yo wanted. He wanted to make it messy, and he wanted to bring out the MBL hype cast. So we're the, we, we've gotten here... <laughs> And it's, it's so good though. Anyone's game. What a fun. Such a good game. Yeah, I, what a I, fun I migration think, I think, game. I think Yo has the upper hand. Same wheels, but better sim for Yo in the late game. I would say, like, with the with the better uh, scout and Hussars. But where do you want to see that castle, T90? I want to see Yo's castle on the top side, but he doesn't know Hera is there. So he's definitely going to think about casting the south side yep. on the hill near the monastery. Look at Hera with the monks, though. Mangalus, monks, and oh, light camp from Hera now. Yo Hera. is preparing to go Imperial Age. Oh my god. Hera is also preparing to build 6,000 castles with 1,800 yeah, yeah, yeah. stone in the bank. <laughs> so much. It's going for the castle wall or something. Like, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think Hera wants to build a castle, but he just doesn't know yet yeah. where to place it. So he waits. And they're both going for, towards Imperial Age soon. Hera clicks up first, which is amazing for Hera. I mean, Yo, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Uh, and oh my god, the Megalon Micro! Oh! Oh, it takes really down close. another mug. Can he take down the Magna? Who takes down the Magna here can get a huge upper hand in the fight. Yo takes down the monk that can jump on the Magna now. And now Hera loses the momentum on the south side. Yo, is he gonna see the No, he doesn't see the top side and the castle. T90, perfectly on the hill for Hera. Yo hasn't seen this, but he will see the outpost when he builds this dock, I think. Oh, this is such Yo a big deal. Yeah, Yo needs to spot Hera on the top. He just doesn't know. I'm worried now for Yo. It's like he might be surrounded by Hera trebuchets, yeah. right? Hera can treb from the right. Hera can treb no, from the left. I'm not too worried if he sees it because if Yo sees it first, he will drop a castle on the left side and start trebbing that yeah. castle from yeah. Hera. He sees the TC. So, so that dot goes oh. up, so he sees the TC. Now he... Oh, oh, no, oh, God. No, no. oh God. Oh, God. Oh, okay, God. Alpo's first. Alpo's first. That's perfect. Alpo's first. And then he's going to put the castle in a further back position and start trebbing that castle. Because yeah. it's going to be up in 50 seconds. He's going to have two traps before Hera gets zero. That, Yo's got to be huge. kicking himself right now, though. He's probably going to yeah, be like, yeah, how did yeah. I let that happen? This yeah, never should have happened. Exactly. Should, never should have happened, but he did. So now he has to deal with the problem. He self cost cost because he didn't see it with his scout. Yep. So it's going to be mainly Trebs. Um, Trebs and Navy still for Hera. I mean, Hera actually wouldn't be a bad play to get careening and transport and drop a castle or send army onto Yo's starting island because Yo has no Navy there. Oh, but that's that's too much multitasking right now. He needs to focus on the left. He needs to focus on the right. He yep. needs to focus on yep. the water. There's no way you, you can save some some energy to go to Yo's island right now. Yeah, that's right? fair. There's a lot going he needs on. To defend for, he needs to defend for his life. Right yep. now, because Yo is in. Yo going for chemistry, will, which will give him access to bomber cannons. He's going for uh, trebuchets, and chemistry also gives more damage to the trebs, right? They're starting to shoot those beautiful fireballs instead of stone, which ob obviously deals more damage with fire, because fire burns. And then he will have uh, bomber cannons, which can take down Hera's trebs. Yep. So everything coming in first will, will be huge for... For Yo. And it's like Hera's gonna try and go archers, which is a great unit to go for, but you can't necessarily push castles yeah. with archers, right? Hera's gonna need something more than that. And Yo is Persians, yeah. and if he can get enough cav out, especially yeah, with the Persian archers? knights, he does extra damage against the knights. That could be really good. He, Hera's gonna go for Arbalest and Bomber Can compos composition, I think, or Arbalest Traps. 
Look at all the ranges he's done though. Like very nice for Hera to actually get those upgrades. Yeah. And I think he's gonna repair the castle on the right until he gets a bomber can with that seed shop. Oh. He's sending in some Urumi warriors, but the castle will kill those immediately. Yeah. Because Urumi warriors are not good against that. But uh, okay, think about it. Yo has has uh, chemistry now. He will get bomber cans out, so he can snipe down the trap from Hera. And oh my god, this game is so close. I mean, it's all about kind of who's winning these trap wars, yep. right? And and it's like a must win for Yo. Y Yo cannot win this yep. semifinal if he does not win this game. This has to work. And the nice yeah, thing if is, if Hera defends this, he's amazing. Like this is so hard to hold. Yep. Yeah, I mean, Harry's so hard. been incredible today, and Yo, they've both been incredible all season. Both players around 700 stone. Both players would be repairing. So many decisions to make. Do you treb the castles? Do you treb the trebs? But the but difference the is... The bomber can coming out on the left. Yep. Is Harry gonna, like, just switch target, try to snipe it down? Is Harry gonna release his Arbalest to try to kill it? Is Harry gonna just let it kill his... He's gonna release the Arbalest, or crossbow, rather, that he has try to snipe that bomber can down which is the right decision i would say you always gonna try to jump on those the damage is insane though from those uh, crossbow they're gonna kill the uh, can wow that was so he sick. didn't even kill a single trap keeps the trap up keeps the trap up defends the trap that hill was so valuable there too mbl oh no and a bomber can on the right side gonna snipe down yo's traps no way uh, i think i think harris holding this because he has three traps alive and now a bomber can to snipe down yo's traps yo doesn't have a single unit to charge in with. He has a few knights, a few light caps, which has no armor. This is so, this is so close. Three traps from Yo. One trap's gonna go down. Hero's castle will fall eventually now. There he goes down. Okay, Yo. This is your moment. If your castle falls, you're dead. Because then you can't defend what Hera is throwing at you. Yo trying to go for a bomber gun. Hera immediately reacts with a dodge of the cannonball. Tries to snipe down the traps again. Yo is repairing his life. He's going to lose the castle to the And Hera's going to charge in with all the Arbalest he has. Hera has taken this game. Yo doesn't have an army really. Like big bomber cannon shot. But he's got light cav. He doesn't have cavalier. And the army can charge in now. Now that everything's dead. Hera's charging in with Tumbring, Arbalest or, uh, or crossbow. crossbow. With, oh my god, what a shot though. Tumbring, crossbow with plus three attack though. And plus three range. Yo is trying for his life. Yes. Is he plus four armor here? He does. Oh my god. He does have oh full armor. God. His cannon pops out on BL. He gets a hit. The crossbows Hera's are disappearing point. for Hera. Hera's losing oh god, his production game. buildings too here. Yo. This could be awful for Hera. This is awful for Hera indeed. He loses all the crossbows he has. Uh, Yo has still more production of light caps. What an amazing move. Behind all this, I didn't even see that Yo was preparing a death ball of light cap with plus four armor. And once you have plus four armor, your crossbow ain't gonna do anything against this. Hero tries desperately to go for halps on the left side while he's trying to bomber can the castle on the right. But this castle on the right is on a hill. It's gonna take forever for Hero to kill this while Yo is pushing on the left. This is wow. crazy. This game is insane. It could still go either way, right? Could still go either way. Yo stuck in the middle. Hera on the sides, but it, it is arguably more difficult for Hera to get valuable pushes because he made his halbs, his buildings that he's now getting upgrades in on the left. And on the right, the bomber cannon gets sniped. And now he Ooh, might need to think snipe. about buildings there as well. Yeah. Oh, but the castle from Yo, look at that. Oh, perfectly on the hill there. If he can castle down, if he can get the castle up, Hera cannot push back the army from Yo. Yo is taking a winning position here. Can Hera ever come back? I don't think so. Can Yo see the castle, by the way? Can he see the castle from Hera in the back? He will with the traps. With can. the traps, he'll see it. Yep. Oh, and he has the hill. This castle will not survive many trap shots from these three uh, traps right here. And I think that three bomber cans as well is going to clean down the crossbow. And all the light camp that Yo has under the castle will be able to take down Halbs even eventually. And he's also preparing hand cannoneers with arch ranges behind the castle. This game is going for Yo. There's no way Hera can go back. Very sick game here on migration. This is the one of the best migration games I've ever seen. It's so good. I mean, I thought both players were dead at various points, right? Like Hera's defense moments before Yo ended up then defending and now has reclaimed the hill. It was just incredible. I thought with that move from Hera that it was going to be enough. Halb in though for Hera, the only army we're seeing from Yo is light cap. So what a strategy. Halb what a could strategy. be great. Dude, what a strategy to pull off in the semifinals from Yo. Like he pulls off Nations Cup strategies in team games to kill Hera's Dravidians on migration. Yep. Hera never expected this. People said on his stream that he was surprised. He did not see this coming. And I think Yo has created something 
Very nice against Radiance here by sneaking some villagers, taking out the fishing ship, and then winning on land after against Radiance. Crazy. But look how the Radiance is holding, though. Okay. It's insane as well. Yeah, like, Hera's not dead. Look at Yo's Island, starting island for a second, and look how many yeah. villagers are about to run out of a task. Okay, okay. So what you do then is do delete houses, delete mining camps and everything, and, and start building farmers. Yeah. It's yeah, okay. Yeah. It, it is okay. Well... He's gonna, it's gonna, that's something you've got to do, right? Kara has yep. shifted over with the new TC in the very left side. Now he's got stone. He still has the right side. The right side he may lose, but he's dropping barracks there to potentially get helps to protect that eco. Both players have exposed areas of their eco. Both players trying How to push. How is the how is the Radiance ever pushing this back? Bomber can from Hera might go down from Bomber cans from Yo. Where is your focusing? He's focusing on the crossbow. Big shot on the crossbow right there. Yep. But the Bomber can still alive from Hera. Yeah, I mean. Oh, Bomber cans might go down now, though. Right. One goes down. Big. You're spot on. Hera doesn't and think GG. he can do it. Hera doesn't think yeah. he can do it. He's lost the castle on the right side. Yo went for a strategy that we saw in team games. Honestly, I think his team was even a part of, of what started the trend last year with Nations Cup. And gets the job done. Again, it's like high risk, high reward. He didn't want to give Hera the normal meta type of game. And he gets the job done. I gotta be honest, MBL. I didn't think he had a chance. I thought he was. Yeah, screwed. you were so negative, man. You just gotta <laughs> turn on that positive switch and think this is doable. Even if <laughs> it's Yo against Hera, anything. Like, if it's a strategy, the strategy is possible working because no one's seen it before in, in this 1v1 in the tournament ever. Yeah. So Hera didn't expect it. And also, I thought, I thought Hera, I mean, I thought Yo was completely dead when he lost the castle, Hera pushing out with a crossbow. But I think Hera went too deep with his crossbow when he was pushing down the castle mm. because suddenly he got overrun by those uh, by those light cav and he lost everything. Yep. Uh, the whole momentum was gone. I think he could have kept him on to a little bit better on the left and then taken the game there. I think yeah. he regrets going a bit deep. It is so tricky to, like, adapt when you're on the defensive here in Harris' position. Like, at various points, we checked the resources collected. Yes, Harris collected more, but his TC spot wasn't ideal, right? The yeah. having to, to YOLO transport, which we ended up doing, to transport the other area with the TC and then the castle, that was all kind of a risk, right? You just yeah. have to take a lot of gambles. And I, the one thing I want to actually bring it back to, it wasn't just Yo's initial build, but Yo and Castle Age redocking in various spots and continually sending in random fires just contributed yeah. to the chaos and the frustration on Hera's side of things. Exactly. That was Yo so Yo was good. doing so much with so little APM. You know, like that, This shows APM doesn't matter. 93 for Hera, 62 for Yo. Yo can be a turtle. Hera can be a cheetah. It doesn't matter. You can still win with the right strategies, like, right decisions. And it doesn't, APM doesn't matter. Like You just do the right things in the right moment. And that's what Yo did. He he did everything correct. That was sick. That's, what you, that, that's why Yo has won so many games this season. And that's why Yo is one of the best players we've ever seen. Um, hopefully, we see games like that in the rest of the map. So we're not going to have migration again, of course, but that was such a sick game. Both games, I mean, game number one, also really sick, right? Game number two kind of let me down. And then when I saw this strat, I said, oh no, yo, have you completely given up? No, I given up, MBL. I had given up and I shouldn't have. Yep. So nope. thank you for nope. calling me out on that. <laughs> yep. Wow, uh, he first picked Magnus to pick it on this map? No. Interesting. So guys, both players had civilizations, which would make a lot of sense due to the amount of relics on this map. We had Yo with the Aztecs. He didn't go for the Aztecs here. He's going for the Mongols. And he's going forward to try and lame Hera right now. And then Hera Ooh. had the Lithuanians, and he's instead gone for the Magyars. So not what we expected as far as civs, but Magyars, Mongols, very fun matchup and very aggressive potential here. Exactly. I mean... Mongols is a good save here because you have the very open map. You up very fast, so you can come forward with scouts or even men or arms fast. Yep. And and do damage. But look at Yo though taking Hera's resources, and this is not a rank game, Hera. You're gonna get lamed here, my man. And uh, yeah. not having his build order, not being in his comfort zone. I I know that Hera doesn't like it. You know what I yeah. mean? He doesn't like getting lamed. Yep. It's interesting to me as well. Big dark spot on the front. Hera prioritized scouting the north of his map first, which yeah, is that's... a it's, which is a weird thing against Mongols. I think exactly like if you're against Mongols in a tournament game, 
put your scout in the front position to try to scout everything in the front. Yep. And be very careful. Take your boards early and everything. But Hera is not doing this. He's playing as it was a ranked game. And he didn't take any precautions to the lame. And and for that, he lost how many sheep? Like two three. sheep? Three, I think. Yeah. Three? He was scouting with three one. sheep. And then he lost oh two. Oh my god. And then Yo just came home. Like Yo said, I don't need a boar. I'm happy with stealing three sheep. Yeah. I'm just going to go. The bad home. thing about losing three sheep is not necessarily that your feud ledge is getting delayed. But when you're hitting Feudal, normally you have 3-4 sheep under your TC so that you can use those sheep uh, to create scouts and everything. Mm -hmm. But when you don't have those 3 sheep when you hit Feudal Age, you're only going to be able to bruise uh, maybe 1 or 2 scouts and, and a spear and the rest has to be villagers and wait for your farms to kick in and then make your army yeah. instead of having those sheep. So It'll be tricky. It's going to be super tricky for Hera to get some pressure out on Yo. He has to play super defensive already because he lost a lot of his sheep. He only has two sheep left. Going to lure there. So yes, he's going to be fine to feudal, like I said. But when he's feudal, there's almost going to be no food under the TC. Yeah. Positive will be cheaper scouts for the Magyars. Does allow you to create a few more. Um, these days, Hera seems pretty comfortable skipping horse cow a lot of the time as well. Some players do. Some players don't. I think... Here, though, you might just need to accept that you do it. Uh, Hera also pushing in a whole bunch of deer, and I think you just expect the Mongols to go for scouts. So if he correctly guesses that Yo will not be going for any militia, which yeah. I'm, I still feel like Yo could do, to be honest. I, um, I feel like he could do that, too. Like, yeah. Yo often goes from banner arms with Mongols. I have played him a thousand times on the ladder, and... He, he he's very good with going men at arms and archers and look at that barracks before mill you know what that means it means that he's going to start the, the militia production as soon as he clicks up yep. and instead of making the mill he's going for to spend 100 wood on the mining camp instead delaying that berry production or berry income until he has put, put out his army and uh, therefore we're going to see men at arms now and yeah. super fast men yeah, at arms really fast and Hera hasn't exactly scouted it now if this were me, I would just miss the barracks by like three tiles. I would see it too late, and I wouldn't get the quick walls in on my wood line and my berries. Um, yep. Hera's skipping loom, by the way. Hera is skipping loom because he thinks it's just going to be scouts. This could be Ooh. disastrous for him if he doesn't see the barracks. Oh, super scary. And, and, and why do you think he's skipping loom, T90? Well, because he thinks it's a scout war. He thinks Yo's just going to go 19 pop or 18 pop scouts, skip loom himself, mm -hmm. just like every other game. Just like in the previous game, it's like, oh, Yo's just gonna go fire ships. He's just gonna have yep, fishing yep. ships. It's just like every yeah, other like, game. This is this is it. We're playing like we don't expect any other strategies. We're expecting meta, 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 and that is going to punish us sometimes, right? Yeah, sometimes. But mostly, correct. Hera does well because he sticks to the meta. He does perfectly meta, yep. and usually wins with it. Correct. Yeah, and it's 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 now more than ever really important for Yo that he Hera continues scout. to find ways. Hera scout into the TC. Can he get hits? Yeah, he got one hit. Okay. Yeah, one tiny hit. Two hits. Two hits. Two hits. That's good. That's good. But Actually, look where Hera's good. going. Hera's not seeing the barracks, and Hera hasn't yeah. seen the gold yet. Hera was on the way to the barracks to scout it, got hit by the TC, dodged the TC, and went the other direction. But he's going to see Yo gold. on gold now. <gasps> yep. Yes, he does. He sees it. Yo, if you see no okay. mill, do you know that the militia are coming? Um, you have to wall he everything. You could expect better arms or fast archers, right? Yeah. But you will. You will think that there could be militia on the way. Uh, I think Yo Hera went for no loom because he wanted to match the uptime from Yo. Yo doesn't see that Hera's no loom. There was a villager right under Scout's nose with no loom. Yep. Yo didn't go for it. And he shows Why? Uh, he shows the oh, militia he blocks, as well. He, he blocks walks. The he walks right oh, next but to Hera this. Could Hera could trap oh, this. What? This could be a trap. It, you do yeah, not go in there. This could be a big trap, you could, you or it could be a bunch of dead villains. Yeah, yeah, it could be a bunch of dead wills. Oh! There might be one or two dead wills here. This is huge. Hera is in big trouble. Like you said, like like we said, he has no sheep under the TC. He has no, he has no stable. Now making the stable after losing one villager. Yo, it's gonna dive that villager. Don't do that, yo. Okay, it's going back. <laughs> Don't dive the TC with men arms. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mill. So Just save them. Thank you. Yeah. That's very nice advice. I I will stop doing that now. Uh, men at arms yep. looking for damage and, and like, you know, this is all result of the early laming from yo. And that oh. Mongols pick was designed for this. Can he snowball this into some more pressure? Hera I, has I think so. I think so. Up. I think so. Like Archer, Skirmisher, and Spearman coming out from Yo. 
Tell me, how is Hera gonna stop this? When he's pushed out of wood, he has to make a lot of farms because he has no sheep. And when he's making all these farms, that's gonna delay his range. That's gonna delay the counter of the army Yo mm -hmm. is sending. And either Hera has to choose. Does he want idle TC now to make archer range because he can't make farms? Or does he make farms and try to greet it out and hold with just a few bills and a few scouts? Yeah. Loses are not avail, by the way. Oh! I'm sure he's gonna lose this one. No. He saves it. Oh my god. Yeah, good save oh there. Oh my god, that was one, one hit. Away. Very nice save. Still a lot of work from Hera. I mean, yeah, you kind of need that range, right? Because now, yeah. like, you can't engage against this follow-up army from Yo. This is all yep. so fast. The thing that Hera He can't make scouts because he doesn't have sheep. The he thing that hate. Hera could do is he could try and pull the villager that's getting hit away and, like, buy himself a little bit of time. You got to fight with Vils, though, here, I think. To have any chance of pushing this back. It's such an awkward army yeah. to engage against. Yeah, it's like as soon as your opponent has spears, men or arms, and you only have two scouts. Yep, good you decision have to fight from with Hera, everything. though. This is a great fighting decision from him. This is actually incredible from Hera. It could be so much worse for him. He hasn't lost villagers yet. This is really good. One scout, two scout. It's, it's good, it's good. Impressive. And he has a lot of farms. Impre insane hold, but what is Mysterio doing? Pull back your army in that situation. Don't let those villagers surround your yep. army. Yep. You, you gotta, gotta go back. Like, you gotta accept there's gonna be idle time for Hera. Yep. At the very least, you can't hope to get the kills there. I agree with you, MBL. Gives yeah. Hera no. an opportunity here, and Hera's exactly. not dead yet. Hera's not dead. Now Yo, Yo has one vill villager head, yes, but Hera has way more farmers. He's making the arch range now. He's getting into his comfort zone. And watch out, Mr. Yo. Now you haven't done what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to kill at least more villagers there and disrupt the eco. But now you can't do it anymore. The skirms will come and bite you in the ass when you have archers right now. Yeah, Yo's still trying to apply pressure with this because there's not any scouts at home. Good micro from him. Yo's eco. He needs more farms at home. We'll see if he gets there. Hera... <laughs> Thought about counterattacking, but he doesn't really have the group of scouts to do damage, so he's just brought it home. And I think Hera will be able to clean this up again if if Yo what isn't do you think careful. The follow, what do you think the follow-up is from Yo now? Does he go stable, go with archers, spears, and scouts? Or does he go for more farms and then goes for the castlage and maybe step lancers? He's going to have to go you scouts. You have to go scouts. There's no way, like with this economy... There's Ooh. no way, like, this This economy can't, isn't even good oh. enough for scouts, so I can't oh, no. see how Castle Age could be an option. Oh no, Hera coming forward with four scouts. Yo, can't really see this, I think. Uh, the wood line on the left side is completely exposed to Magyar Scout with full HP! Tonight, this is gonna be a disaster on Hera's, uh, on Yo's wood line. Oh, Hera didn't see it! What? No! So Hera lucky. didn't see it! And Yo's, so Yo's time, Yo. maybe, to see this. He reacts, and, he's bringing a spear and over. So he only lose one villager. This could be four or five dead villagers from Hera, uh, from Yo. Well, uh, but it still it didn't could. happen. It still could. No, no. He's got to get the walls down. You know oh. what this means, T90? This Just is passing? exactly. No, this is exactly what fate is. <laughs> fate? Fate would be if uh, Hera won this game, he would see those villagers. If Yo. Uh, if Hera doesn't see, Yo is actually winning this game. I'm calling it right now. Yo is going to win this game because of fate. Okay. It was just meant to be that Yo is going to tie yeah. up this semifinal here. Interesting. Well, yes. Great it recognition from Hera to know he doesn't have his army right now in a position to be able to defend. So he's dropping and Yo a tower. Yo is sneaking four archers on the, the other wood line. Wood line. Does, do they have fletching? Yes, they do. They do. They're going to at least get one villager kill here. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Hera but, has forced the tower, which but, means he can't drop TCs in the next but, 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 there's, there's but, tower coming up. and scouts now from Hera. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Yo will lose one or two veils, but the tower is going to come up, and I feel like Yo is doing more damage. I'm not sure, though. It's very it's close. Very close, yeah. Very close, and that's the point. Hera does some nice body blocking there, using his skirms yeah. very nicely here. I and... still believe in fate, though. I still believe in the fate. Uh, Yo is going to win this game. Like, I don't think Hera's going to do enough damage here. I think it was fate that he didn't see those uh, lumberjack wheels. <laughs> when you're playing I'm, a game, I'm, I'm when a... you're playing a game, do you feel like that? Do you have moments where you say it's fate that I win or fate that I lose? Now, does that happen? Not really, but uh, this this moment was just it just was enlightening. Okay, to me. so you just so the gods spoke to you and said, "This is what will be." Yeah, this is fate. Okay. <laughs> 100%. <laughs>
<laughs> well, I like it, MBL. It's interesting. I mean, it's the first time it's ever been brought up. We don't normally see Faith researched, but Fate, in this case, stepping in. Scouts from Yo, he's got a, a quite a few in queue here, and that's going to help a lot against the Skirms. But Hera is still producing more of his own scouts. Yeah, uh, but uh, I feel like Yo being on gold, having archers instead of Skirms here, with with some scouts is yep. better than what Hera has. And he's so well protected. Yep. The tower protects his woodline and the gold, which makes him more capable of going to Castle Age. While Hera has a tower on the stone and the wood, which means maybe Hera has to mine more stone to get Dude, another tower on the wood. This series and the stone. First two games were good, but the last game and this game has just been incredible. This is yeah. so good, right? Like yeah, the level go has risen, way. man. They've only gotten better here. Yep. Just beautiful oh, stuff. Oh, Hera's stacking the house, not paying attention. Yo's snagging one or two scouts here. But uh, it's uh, okay, rough for both. Like, Yo has very messy eco on the left, while Hera is losing farms under his DC. He's not receding them. Um, Hera's farm eco looking very solid, though. And he has Magyar scouts. Mm -hmm. Don't underestimate that. Yeah. But I, I'm, I, I already know who's winning, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but in an extended Feudal Age War, do you think that squeezing in Horse Collar would make sense here for Hera? Uh, potentially, but Yo already has that, right? So yeah, yeah. that's also one other advantage that Yo has. Yo is really... And he's mining stone to make more defensive towers. Yo, yeah, he's mining stone, he's dropping a like tower. That. He's happy to I keep like it, it messy and open. This is and what we wanted from graveyards. This is sick. Yeah, he's going for counter attack because he's defending with static defense at home. Sending all his offense the... away. If he didn't have those towers at home, he could not do this. Herado responds by sending all his army home to clean up Yo. Yeah, good decision This will buy Yo... Yeah, but this will buy your time to uh, put this economy and prepare for Castledge. You know what right? this has done, though? This has told Hera everything he needs to know. Hera's like, oh, I need more reason to make more Feudal Age Scouts? Okay, thank you. I'm going to yeah. do that. He drops a second stable. Archer Micro is needed here from Yo. Hera does have armor, but no bloodlines. But I think Hera's Scouts will clear that up. And then it there will. will be more production after this, but potentially. It will, and I think it's going to be pretty even to cast stage. Hera has a lot of farms, and mar a market is coming up for Yo. So, what is it going to be like? Is Yo going to potentially put a castle up, and then boom behind this in I mean, Yo or? loves Megadai, but True. I don't think you can survive Ooh. to Megadai. Oh, wheelbarrow from Hera. It's a good upgrade, but it will make Hera go click up in three villagers well yo is clicking up now yeah. it takes three villager production time to make wheelbarrow guys so it will set Hera back three villagers and it will make him click up in at least 40 seconds Hera's full feudal even more he's this is full, full feudal. feudal yeah like like he's but only full attacking... feudal against towers no 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 not gonna work what about full feudal against houses because that's what Hera's doing right now yeah it seems so <laughs> housing yo i would hate this strategy uh, i would die <laughs> I mean, yo, yo, he doesn't have army, right? He's lost another villager here. He's dropped all these towers. He's dropped these walls. There's you know a risk here that me? when yo clicks up, like gets Ooh. the castle, he's not going to have the resources to really make money. Hera's not full fuel. He's clicking up now. Okay, Crazy. cancels the scouts. Yeah. Well, I know nope. you said it was fate, but I prefer Hera's position. I think Hera's in a wonderful position right now. Despite he's in being an okay later position, but it's still very possible for yo. Yeah, well, house is going to go down. Archer range could go down. I feel like if you want to attack anything here, if you're Hera, you want to attack the stable. <laughs> because a camel or two or step lancers from Yo could be terrifying. I think Hera's just had... He's uh, just come to that conclusion because he sees the second stable coming up. Yeah. And that stable might not survive for Yo. I think that goes down. That's actually true. I mean, that plus one attack is, is sick. And Feudal Age stables doesn't have the same armor and HP as the Castle Age stable. But if Yo hits Castle Age, that stable will survive. I think Yo should probably send three fully HP wills to start repairing that stable a bit. Uh, mm. Even though the skirms are hitting him. Yeah, but then the scouts could... It's too far. The scouts could just Maybe. kill. Yeah, it's annoying for Yo for sure. I love this from Hera. Like, the last couple minutes, Hera's economy has been so much better, it feels like. Better with the food in the wood. And Yo has to build a new stable. He is going to open with a camel, Camels. but I'm not sure yep. one camel... Another stable coming up down the right. Going to be enough. Those scouts are going to get attack upgrades too. Yo needs to have everything walled here. This is scary, Furio. Hera has such a good eco behind this. 
He's even got horse color now, and look at all the farms he's made, man. Look yeah. at how beautiful Hera makes this eco, man. Crazy. Yeah, so good. Yeah. And it, I, I, what I like about him is he produces. He's okay to produce a lot of army. A lot of players are like, no, I'm gonna just like cut corners here, like Yo did. But he's like, no, yeah. I prefer to have the control. It gives me time for my eco. I don't even think these three Ooh, camels. Oh, but this fight though, it, it's huge though. Those scouts aren't really that upgraded. They have plus two armor. Yes, I mean attack, but Ooh. those camels can chop through those scouts with the tower in the in the back as well. I think Kara's taking a terrible engagement before upgrades there, maybe. Yeah, but what I guess he just wants to trade. Not sure. I feel like you you waited, you know, another ten seconds there. You've got full map control. You take a better fight against the camels. Light cap upgrade does end up coming in for Hera, still. But too late, you know. Yeah, that was very interesting. Was not expecting Hera to take that engagement. It felt like he he could have waited. He still got the light cap though. Maybe he was he wanted to take Yo before Yo could wall or something. Ooh. And Hera's into the wood line. And it, Her Yo has nothing to stop this light cap. Four light cap can actually chop for the fate doesn't exist. Those <laughs> those villagers are going to die. H H Yo Hera, can you stop this? Okay, Hera will lose. Yo will lose two villagers. Uh, Yo can afford thesis. Did he put that? No, what did he do with his wood? I think he sold I the think wood he to sold get gold. It. Yeah, he's really desperate right now. He's really oh, desperate. Nice and Hera's in. got knights coming in. And Hera's taken no damage over the last few minutes. And Yo, I mean, the positive here is he's on camel, right? So he could hold, in theory, with a couple conversions from the monks and with the camels. But the eco efficiency has taken a big dive. And yeah. I you, feel like Hera you, uh... could just boom behind this right now. Yeah, what do you do if you're Yo here, actually? You need T's. Oh, can the monk get sniped? Monk's yes, gonna get can. sniped. Yo is completely yeah. overwhelmed right now. He does not have the numbers. And Hera just keeps sending in one group. Force a reaction from Yo. Yeah, and Yo goes wanted the TC on the area. top. Yo wanted the TC on the top side there, but couldn't really afford it. So he goes for a mining camp instead. If those light camps sniped on the camel, Hera knows that there's a mining camp there. Uh, Yo needs to defend so hard here now. Yeah. I, I don't think he can do it. He's also losing the hammers on the top. This is the multitasking though. Didn't really see it and has to run back now. Now he can heal those camels potentially. I don't think Hera will dive it. He does. Crazy. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yep, Hera. Okay. Maybe really when he sees a weak unit, he doesn't want to give Yo time to heal it up, I guess. Yo's got yeah, a 10 ton more bills of weak oh. units here. And look at Hera, so good. Two monastery. Instead of making TCs and stuff like that, he makes two monastery, pumps out monks, heals up his light cap after a week, and then goes back into radio. So oh, good. Interesting. Well, so he good. knows Yo's not gonna boom from here, right? He knows that, and he may feel like that Magyars don't really have much of an eco bonus. Neither do the Mongols. So this is an all-in type of situation, and it allows him yeah. to spend all of his time on the production and on the fights, all of his resources on the production too. And, like, you know, if Hera Ooh, could just go to the, the right, line. he would see so many villagers there. And he's on the other wood line as well. Yo doesn't have that tracked. Oh, this is looking so bad for Yo. I think Hera even baiting the camels away so the knight can hit the gold. And now he's splitting up the other, like, have to go over to the gold. Oh, man. Yo's got this too many fires to put out in his base, MBL. It's too chaotic here for Yo. He's going to lose too many villagers. And suddenly he's, like, 20 bills behind soon. And uh, Hera is comfortably booming at home, expanding his economy, taking relics now. And uh, yeah, I think uh, Yo is just uh, too far behind. Yep. Can't come back really with just camels here. Hera, after he's getting his eco up, can easily make a transition into cab archers. And suddenly cab archer monks uh, deals with these camels that Yo has, even if Yo was all in. Two more, li one light cab, one knight, staring at the... Uh, it's just... Just he's so... full disrespect. <laughs> full disrespect. Wow, this Hera guy is so bad. He can't even put them on attack stance. Wow, yeah, what yeah. a pleb. What a pleb. He needs to really improve his play here. That's the one. <laughs> oh, that's like oh, the one no. issue maybe Dude, he's had. Imagine, hey, he imagine. killed a villager. <laughs> imagine how many wheels he could have killed while yeah. the fight was happening on top. Yeah. Hero, Hero, wake up. Wake up, Hero. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, he's advancing forward with the monks. Yo sees it, and Yo's gonna kill it. And now you can't engage against the Cav if you are Yo, because the camels will just be converted by Hera's monk number. And Hera going to a dive again. Like, he's killed so many monks from Yo. Yeah. And what a great recovery, right? Like, the start was brutal. So many players could have died in that position. But yeah, it, it came down to the fight where Yo didn't micro. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Yo just run away from the veils and yep. deal with the scouts. So I agree. easy, actually. Yeah. 
crazy. But it's, you know, a decision-making thing, right? Decision-making yeah. and... Yo, I think, maybe felt like... If villagers are fighting against man-at-arms, that's good for me. But in reality, that was the best fight for Hera because he yeah. had the villagers really helped with the distraction exactly. and the damage and, uh, output. And Hera had no production. He had no business staying in that game. Yep. But Yo just let him come back. And what a comeback he did, though. Crazy. Yeah, sick. I mean, we, we talked about his eco. <laughs> his ecos obviously look fantastic. And uh, he's just moments away from getting this win, I think. I mean, he, he could be booming on a second and third TC to extend his lead, but he also could just make more army. There's no way with this economy difference that Yo can make enough to kill what Hera has right now. Nah, no way. Even with camels. It's just oh, not Oh, five mocks converting. Can he get a conversion? Yo, Hera's diving in. He doesn't care. He has five mocks, ten knights against ten camels and zero mocks. Let's see. Okay. Goes back now. Yeah, Hera also can but... use some of those monks to get relics. He already got three, which is bringing him gold income. 27 villager difference to 90. 27. Yep. So good. And Hera falls back to the monks. Camels have to pull away. Now there's Lightcap back on the gold. And Yo's been just too open yeah. for too long. And Yo knows, okay, he hasn't like dropped the cast on my face yet. He hasn't fully like dove for me, but he's won this game. Hera goes up 3-1. Like we said, opportunities were there for Yo. For Yo fans, that's going to be a disappointing one. Because, I mean, not just the way the game was going, but Fate said, MBL, that Yo was going to win. And Hera just... Damn it! Hera, Hera just defying Fate, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> He's working against it. <laughs> well, great resources collected there. Um, and, you know, it's it's a bit tricky. Like, when you go all in like that, when you when you get the early damage, which you did do... You then need your control to lead to the next thing, right? You yeah, don't want I think, uh... you don't want your attack to just die there, like most players' attacks do who are watching. Sorry, it wasn't even you, good but... from Hera though. Like he just, he just let himself get lamed like that in, in such a bad position. Yeah, he should yeah. be dead. He should yeah. be punished so easily. But Yo fights with three men at arms and a spearman against three scouts. Like and and the five HP's. villagers and the five villagers yeah yeah why just fight that like because if you pull he has low HP scouts too if you pull back there Hera yeah. has to decide on either continuing to chase which means his already weak economy is chasing you yeah. or engaging without the support of the villagers and then it's a fight he loses it was the yeah exactly best case. and it... of all the scenarios there Hera would have wanted Yo to just fight it against the villas and the scouts and that's what Yo did if he runs away too. He can wait for one more Spearman, one yep. more Archer. Like, yep. he had two more Archers coming yep. and a Spearman. Yep. Then Hera can never engage because he couldn't afford a range even. Yep. It's, all, it's over. Yep. Uh, frustrating to see that possibly. Hera, though, up 3-1. And now he needs yeah. one win from the next three games to move into the final of this season. And he's looking really good for it right now. I think, like... um. It, it feels like a 3-1 right now. It just does. You know, it feels like Hera's been slightly better in almost every game. Yo has had to find crazy strategy to break Hera. But otherwise, if Hera knows what's coming, he's been able to make it happen. Well, really good for Yo here as we're catching up to live time. He stole some sheep, so that's good. Uh, unfortunately right. for him, though, he ran directly into Hera's TC, which is oh. not so good to start this off uh, Aztecs versus Chinese. Did he lose the scout? Well, you could load into the game and find out, but no, the scout is on 17 HP. That's fine, because you can heal it in the TC. Yeah, The good true. thing about being uh, having an eagle is that you can run into your TC and heal it. If you're low HP and you're scouting Dark Kitch uh, with the horse, it cannot garrison, so it will be worse for Hera to, for example, run into your TC. Yeah. Yep. So <laughs> the reason why I think running into TC is very common on these kind of maps is it's really hard to ex experience where the TC actually is. Yeah. And this is a very weird land madness, by the way. They're really close. Really close. And I feel like... I just think it's a bit weird. Yeah, it is weird. I'm I mean, mad. I agree. It's weird. I mean, land madness has been super weird. Like, it, there's resources yep. spread all throughout. The only consistent thing is you're going to get, like, two to three wood lines. And then you have double berries, and then the four tile of gold. And that's like everything else is like spread all throughout. Hard to wall this map, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, Harris picked what I believe is the number one civilization on this map. And you said MBL, they have been nerfed, so they don't feel as smooth, and I agree. The reason is just because the berry bush underneath the TC really helps their start. So I would expect Hera to honestly stay at his base, pushing in deer the entirety of Dark Age just to get as much food as possible, and then he has to hope to defend against whatever Yo sends at him in Feudal Age. 
If you think about the start here, here is only one villager ahead of Yo. And it's not even like one and a half, one and eighty percent villagers. It's actually just one and ten percent. Yeah. But but like it's not a big deal. Yo has to get loom, right? So it'll be a two villager lead. <laughs> doesn't have to get loom. I guess that's true. Yo doesn't have to get loom. <laughs> yeah. You would expect it, but he doesn't have to. That's a fair point. You... Yeah. All right. Well, you I know, don't think the... Chinese is the yeah yeah. What would you do here though? Your eagle's weak. Do you push in deer or do you heal it? Because at the moment it seems push like Yo deer, has to push in deer. Push in deer, heal it, and then... And, and, oh, I'm burping it three times. And then go. Uh, okay, got it. Push there, then go uh, heal. Uh, since you know where he is already, because you basically <laughs> ran into his DC, yep. you, you don't need to go scout after luring deer. So you can just heal and chill. Yeah. And I think you, good. you almost always expect like a scout build from yep. Hera as well, so you, you kind of know... But, like, every other time I've seen this map, it feels like players are going for their own scouts. What is Yo thinking here with Aztecs on this map? Well, I'm thinking that he knows that Land Madness is in a very open map. Aztecs is uh, very good to go Eagles with. And Eagles on open map can be very hard to hold. I think Yo wants to go for Eagles. By the way, he hasn't found those two geese, geeses, gooses, whatever. Standing on the yeah, left I'm, side. I'm pretty sure it's, it, if it's multiple geese, it's just ghosts. That's what it is. It ghosts? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I could tell you didn't believe me. Yeah. Um, I think uh, those two ghosts uh, on the left side <laughs> <laughs> uh, will be found, maybe, but it's so close. I mean, can you all see them? How do I see his liner sight? Uh, Alt F. Alt F? Alt F, yeah. I'm on Hera. How do I switch POV? Uh, hold Shift and right click anything that Yo owns. Okay. Thank you. Okay, cannot see them. Yeah. He's very close to it. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, MBL. I'm so proud, bro. That's that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, Hera's gonna go scouts, and this is to, to no one's surprise. Uh, Hera comes home with his scout. It will be faster now in Feudalage, and obviously Yo's is weak. So that's gonna be a dead eagle for Yo. A little wasteful, I think, to move forward like that. Um, but he didn't know that Hera would have had his scout near home. And Hera's had the clean start that he wants, and he's got the two villager lead, like we said. Yo, opening yep. with very defensively here. He's just going to go for some walls and just for Spearman for now. Yeah. It's a uh, very standard build for both players. I think uh, holding Spear and Skirm can be really hard for Hera. But it's Spear and Archers instead. I, I would like to see maybe Skirm and Eagles for Yo. Play a mm -hmm. bit more aggressive. I don't like that Yo is sitting back. Not having any aggression on Hera right now. Because that benefits to Hera because he's going to be he's gonna be the mobile... Civilization running around. Yo needs to wall this gold yeah. ASAP. Yeah, ASAP. I mean, you know scouts is coming, yo. You know scouts are gonna be here. What are we doing Might here? Lose a... ah, he's not losing a will. He's not losing a will. He will save it. Yeah. He, he will save it. He, he will <laughs> save it, dude. <laughs> Keep it going, dude. Okay, okay. Keep I'll it just going. stop now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna see how... I'm, I'm honestly impressed. I just wanna see how long he can keep it going. <laughs> Well, oh you know, Hera doesn't find the villager kill. Hera does see with his scouts, though, the archery range. And like you said, just not a very aggressive opening here from Yo. Um, at what point will Hera add skirms? It looks like very early on he's going to add the range now. So similar yep. to what we've seen in the previous game, if he's up against archers and spearmen, as Hera so takes standard. some pretty nasty hits there, just mix yeah, in ugly, skirms, ugly. and I don't think Yo will be able to accomplish a whole lot. Yo needs more spearmen because Hera can easily dive... One Spearman, two Archers with five skills. Yeah. Easily. Hera chooses not to. He wants to find damage on Yo. Yo is housed. Very sloppy. Ooh. I hate being housed. It's being housed hurts so much. I think I'm I'm I, I'm I'm dying to noobs because I like like Hera and stuff. Because I uh, get housed a lot. It stops my population, it stops my villager production, it stops my aggression, it stops everything. Yeah. Well, I think there's a way you could fix that, MBL. By what? Being make, better make, memory? Make more houses. Yeah, but it's it's I forget houses. Yeah. The thing is that I forget. Like my memory doesn't allow allow me to make houses. I need to, need to fix that. Hera now 
chases away those two archers and the spearman, and sends... Oh my god, he has seven scouts already, T19. Yeah, Chinese are insane, and Harris did such wow. a good job, but, like, he's been under no pressure. There's been no pressure. Yeah, no it's, pressure, it's no pressure. It's the best Civ, like, in my opinion, it's, it's one of the best Civs here, and yeah. Yo has opened so passively, so I, I suppose that mm. Yo is thinking, as he is housed pretty badly, I suppose oh Yo god. is thinking about oh maybe Castle Age, but... He's so housed that he may, has to make Town Watch. Like, I, I've been there, done that every single game I do, but it's terrible. And uh, yeah, goes for two bags now. He's gonna go uh, Eagle Spears. I like that because Hera is going for scouts. Yeah. And uh, Eagle Spears is so, so good here. Yo fixes his Palisade walls so that the Hera won't break in. And he's diving the Spearman with the Eagle. I like that. And two Spearman, two Eagles here will actually kill everything if uh, Hera goes in. Oh, and Hera it gets wrecked there. And he also lost yeah. some HP before. So Hera a little distracted maybe. Oh, he with... goes in though. With Yo's other uh, army, and he does go in. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good because it's uh, no. It's not good because he's losing way too many scouts. This was such a good trade for Yo. Wow. All those low HP scouts, just one spearman, bam, 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 and those three scouts are dead, and he has two scouts left. Yeah. Hera overcommitting there, I think. He didn't need to. He just wait for some more skirmishes. Maybe he was too busy with two archers from. Oh, look at Yo. Actually finding damage with two archers and the spearman. Yeah, he killed. Really nice. He had two skirmishers distracted. Killed the skirmisher. One from Hera's got pulled back. So I think. Hera probably Ooh, a villager. No, was distracted there. Yeah, and I think Yo was defending this perfectly, honestly. Yeah, he actually managed to recover really well. And if Hera he can get enough fight. eagles and spears together, that flows yeah. very nicely towards Castle Age, which I think is why exactly. he probably picked his team. And the market, the market is coming up. Yo has the blacksmith, two barracks, and a market. And as soon as he is ready to transition it, oh, Hera loses. Hera's playing sloppy now. Hera's losing scouts, and he only has spears against eagles and spe uh, he only has skirms against eagles and spears. It's not good enough. Yo will defend while Hera has to invest a lot, and while uh, Yo is going castle age, Hera will need to find the damage, but he can't. And when Hera gets, I mean, when Yo gets to castle age with eagles, Hera will be stuck in feudal still, I believe. Wow, so this Hera could be really ugly. Continues to get hit here, but he does kill the spearmen, and now the eagles yeah. need some support. Eagles take a long time to produce. Yeah, Scouts, so the Spearman so is in the queue, the Spearmans are in the queue, but it takes a long time to wait for that slow eagle to get uh, born. So we're waiting for the Spearman to come out now, he's coming out now, fighting with Vils nice too. Fight. I think this is a good fight for Yo. Yeah, nice choke Super point for Yo to find there. Good job yeah. to, to keep make it awkward and for And he's Hera ready to go Hera's super far, Hera's going forging, he's going all in. While Yo is almost about to click up, he's, Yo is clicking up. He just needs a few spares and eagles now. Don't take a bad engagement, yo! Don't take that engagement! Don't take that engagement! Yo! Don't take that engagement! It feels like the previous game all over again, maybe, where he's he's Is in a position. Snowball? He's in a position. Yes. And then he just he gives Hera that opportunity against feudal age units. Oh, he had five eagles. Just needs to go back, wait, be patient, make armor on them. But Hera has bloodlines and forging now. If Hera dives in that gold, Yo suddenly has no gold to make eagles anymore. And suddenly Yo has to fight for posi behind uh, position again. Runs all the eagles into a choke uh, point of the scouts. One dead, two dead, three dead soon. Uh, believe me, uh, I'm not. They not, haven't died yet. It's but, fate. It's you know, fate. Just, Don't worry, guys. It's fate. <laughs> the villagers are going in circles. One is gonna die for sure, I think. The Berry Village so I suppose, has to pull them back as well. Yo is throw. Uh, he's off of gold. Like, he, he had it. He had the position, and he lacked the patience in the moment here. And, you know, sometimes, I, I mean, look at him now. Look at the gold he's going to. If Harris yeah. spots that, that's going to be a nightmare for Yo. I think he might. Or is it fate? <laughs> <laughs> or is it fate? True. I mean, Hera's never going to look spec there, to be honest. That is true. Right? Is like, true. Hera's never going to go there. Yeah, and three barracks coming up. This is not over, trust me though. Like, eagles can snowball. It's If it's one thing that can snowball, it's eagles. He didn't lose many villagers. He yep. lost one villager after all that. Amazing by Yo to save the vils, but very silly to take that, that, that bad fight there. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's maybe one of those Ooh, things the easy gold. to say in the moment. His but... main gold here in this base, getting attacked by two scouts. Will lose another villager, maybe. Spearman coming in. Maybe he can save the vils. It's one low HP. Yeah, he saves them. He saves them. Very nice by Yo. Now pushing back the scouts. Hera's up to Castle Age. And Hera, when he has this many scouts against the Aztecs, he's really good at maneuvering. Sniping monks, sniping eagles, sniping everything. 
Uh, so he has the mobility, but Yo has the strong army. This yeah, is scary. I, I think, but the thing that's nice for Hera is the Eagles aren't at his base. He's wide yep. open at home, but he has the control. Because Yo has <laughs> to has react to this. So, yep. this is really awkward. But what Yo. is nice for Yo is that he's taking, still taking a good amount of wood. He has two idols inside the wood line, though, which is really weird. They are on the idol counter as well. Um, but he has nice wood income, he has nice gold income, his farm's looking healthy. And as long as he can hold this a little bit, he's gonna be fine. Hero's making a lot of pressure. Hero wants to win this. Hero wants to get in the final of TTL. Let's see how this is goes. Can Hera? Is this an S tier tournament, by the way? It was, but I don't know if Liquipedia changed things and it's no longer S tier, so it depends. I would split in hairs. Formerly... Can Hera win his A tier tournament? <laughs> <laughs> Formerly S tier tournament, and then Liquipedia changed stuff, and I don't know. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Way to blow things away from me. But, yeah, uh, okay, I mean, let's see. I want to be fact. I want to be correct here, so I I don't even know, and I really don't care. It's the same as it was every season. Hera doesn't Still give a, a crap, man. A lot of good turn. Uh, Hera good wants players. to win. Hera, Hera wants, wants to, to show what he's made what of. What a here. nice wall from Yodo, saving in all those gold villagers. Castage from Hera now, though, with three stable knight production, and Yo can't. There's no. Or he doesn't have that's a, a one HP wall. Yet. That's a one HP wall. Hello. Oh my god. Hello. Oh my god. Okay. Can okay, now we? Now he fixes it. Eagles are finally at Harris base, now. by the way. Finally at Harris yeah. base. Knights are on the way for but, Harris, so it feels like the yeah. perfect timing. Harris for him. fine. He doesn't even have to pull back wheels. I think. I think the knights were gonna gonna come out perfectly here. And uh, Yo now getting eagle upgrade though. Um, Hera, don't know. Yo is walling the gold in on the left side because he's scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's not able to get the damage done. By the way, is S tier still? <laughs> Thank you, Liquipedia. So. Okay. I, I ruined nice. your hype moment, but, uh, it, yep. you know, it's it's unfortunate right now for Yo. It's like, th this was the window, right? The window yep. was eagle numbers. Now that's not going to work. And now you want to go monks. And Harris still has a ton of leftover light calf to use against the monks. So hard game. And, man, monks coming out now, though. That is good. Harris still has a lot of light calves to snipe. But they might push Hera uh, back here with that monk. So we're going to start to conversion. Mr. Yo conversion. Mr. Can Yo get conversion. It? No Mr. Yo conversion there. He gets there. it! Oh my god, he Wait, gets he it. Wait, he did? He actually <laughs> got the conversion! He got, it's, so, it's so stupid, man. He gets the most bullshit conversion. I think he's cheating. I, I'm not... I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's I'm, crazy how... I'm sure how he's was... not cheating, but it does It does happen sometimes for Yo, and that's what RNG can do. And uh, Hera just continuing to masker Yo anyways, right? Like, he's yeah, got it's... such a great position. There's idle time it everywhere for Yo, and it's... And just not sure... Oh, can I get this? Can I get this? Well, Hera misclicked. No, Doesn't get, get the it. conversion there. It's fate. Yep, and I think it is fate for Hera to go to the finals. It's yep. bad enough right now. I know it's Yo, but it's bad enough right now where this is close to being the end for him today. Yo is going to keep fighting, though. He knows that the final zone line is 400 wood. He can just sell the wood and go for gold. Uh, there's a little bit of eagle raid in Hera's town. He was on the wood line, killed two villagers, actually. Very nice. A little bit of damage done. And goes for a defensive monastery again. I didn't like the first monastery, by the way. Way too far in the open. Yeah. And yeah. oh my god, a monk is kissing the light cap. Of course, not getting a half a second conversion. That doesn't work. And Hera's just going 1 TC again. It's mirror of the last game. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's being all over him with knights and light cap. Yeah, and, and why not, right? Like 1 TC eco. It's interesting. He, he knows I'm already ahead. Actually, from Hera's perspective, he doesn't know that Yo has that much gold income. He probably is going to be surprised to see more monks and be surprised to see these eagles. If there's ever a way back for Yo, it will be the fact that he's had those six villagers or seven Ooh. villagers on that gold. Oh, all the eagles going to Hera's woodline, which is open. Hera has uh, 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 prepared four knights and some light calves. Quick walls the woodline now. There's yep. a hole there. There is I a hole. Hera's gonna let him go in, or no? He wanted to trap he him. Wanted yeah, trap he wanted him. to trap yeah. him there. Yep, he saw it. Of course. Monk from Mio. Yo, of course, now doesn't have defense because he went forward, but had he not gone forward, he would definitely lose, so he's trying here. And Hera's happy Monk to take this engagement. Should Yo doesn't be have food for Ego soon. A really good fight for Hera because Hera can't, or, or sorry, Yo can't make more units after yeah. this. Yo can't reinforce. Hera is just pulling them back. Clearing all the eagles from Yo, sitting under his TC so Yo can collect food. But honestly, Aztecs so cheap. That's what's so good about, about Aztecs. They can just uh, keep doing these eagles. But 1,300 scored it now. Here with the TC in the middle, so nice. 
and full control of this game right now. Yeah. Full control. And he still doesn't know that Yo is on that gold, <laughs> which is funny, right? Like, he, he from what yeah. he can see, he probably thinks Yo is down to, like, 28 villagers. But yeah. nah, I'm sure Hera knows now. I'm sure even Yo knows. This is... This is gonna be tough for Yo to ever have a chance back. Yo's gonna try another counter attack here. I hate um, the way Yo played this game, by the way. I hate it so much. Just the just the opening and how passive it the was, pa or the Aztec pass or? The passiveness and the engagement he did with the Eagles when he clicked up. Do you think and... it's confidence? I think it's just I don't know, bad day. I don't know. Okay. He never plays like this against me. Like he yeah. sits under his TC and waits. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. just. I mean, listen, I, I'm obviously way less capable than all the players we're talking about here. I can tell you, if I feel as though I'm outmatched, I make poor decisions. and no. Or if, like, in big moments, right? Obviously, for me, it's not a semifinal, but those are the types of fights I take. I, like, get a winning position, and then for whatever reason, my brain just finds a way to throw. So I think it's the moment, right? And Hera right. had, you know consistently been all over him Look and at the it's very dropping. tricky yeah that, <laughs> he's, he's like, the villagers give me that he's, goal uh, he's also patrolling the knights in the back of his base knowing that yo will come with eagles yeah he saw them move he doesn't know where yeah. they'll be and yo now has to leave and yo, yo is, is completely dead here yes he's on pikes now but it just it feels pikes. like Hera's eco is at a point now where he could just make knights to match the pikes, no problem. Can, or he can switch archers, he can switch crossbow, he can switch longsword, he can do anything. Yeah, he could go he huge scorpions economy. as well, yep. Hera just I don't now... think Aztecs is a poor choice, just the way he played it was poor. Got it, yeah. Yeah, yeah I also think, surprising to me, that the very last sim pick for Hera was Chinese. I know it's a best of seven though, so it's a lot trickier with the draft. Right. But I've always felt like they are the number one on this map. I, I, this is a first pick for Yo. First pick versus last pick, and I feel like Chinese are better. That something's a little bit off there, I think. Yeah. But I think risk taking was kind of the was was kind of the thing that Yo tried here. We we saw it work with the Persians play, which was so sick, right? All right. And he's very realistic, perhaps of what's possible for him, what's not. At times, he just took bad trades. Uh, that's yeah. All. Yeah, like like the Mongols versus Magyar's game could have got the job done. Yep. Game one, very close. This game yep. here, without a fight, potentially has the lead as well. It's it's just like we could look back to like one or two moments. It's four one, but it could have be... been 3-0 to Hera uh, for Yo. You know, yeah, like... yeah, hundred percent. It's uh, yeah, it's well played from Hera, obviously, but yeah. Yo has made uh, brutal decisions that cost him the games. Yeah, absolutely, and you can't get away with that against big players. And Yo's gonna maybe get a conversion or two, but Hera gonna convert them right back. Lots of pikes from Yo, but he has now. 35 villagers behind as Hera's a full boom mode. And Hera has won this semi-final, and Hera will be in the final against either Kato or Viper, and they'll be playing after this. That should be a sick yeah, series. Crazy. Yeah, 100%. What do you, who do you think will win that? I gotta go with Viper. I gotta Gosh. go with Viper, but Tato has been like one of the few players who's been able to get really solid results against Viper mm. over the last year. Um, that is true. So I, I think it's going to be close. Like I think the scoreline will be closer than this scoreline, mm. and I think it could go either way. But I, I can't go against the player who beat Tato in the semifinals last season, the player who then was up against Hera in the final last season and beat Hera last season. You can't go against Viper, um, especially with how he's he won his group as well, and Tato was was third in the same group. But you know, back to this, Hera almost felt like. Ever since he got first in his group, you saw the bracket, and I, I personally felt like Hera heavy favorite versus Leary because I thought his preparation would be better. We saw it pan out, um, and then here against Yo, I felt he was a pretty heavy favorite as well, despite how big a name Yo is. Still not a yep. failure of a season for Yo. He was fourteen and one in his group. He then three would in the quarters. Like he's top four, played amazing. Unfortunately, wasn't able to to pull it together to get a result here against Hera today. Um, I'm not sure Yo will be overly disappointed. I think he'll be like, I didn't play my best, but at the end of the day, top four is kind of where Yo wants to be. So I'm sure he'll he'll look at this season with some level of fondness. <laughs> um, MBL, your energy yep. and yep. your your uh everything you brought to the cast today was awesome. So thank you. Oh, thank you. I couldn't even think of one word, honestly. There's so much. So, Thank you. seriously, I did have fun. It was a good time. It's been a while. It was fun. 
Um, I yeah. hope you enjoyed it as well, dude. Yeah, it was fun. Thank you. It yeah. was a great uh, semifinals. Yeah, good games. Hopefully we'll get more next time we cast together, but it was still really good games, and uh, a lot of the games were back and forth. Appreciate it, dude. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yep, yeah, best of luck. See ya. See ya.